Welcome once again, everybody. This is Dynamite D&D. I am your dungeon master, Steve Negretti. This is a summer project of Dynamite D&D playing remotely thanks to good old CV. That's coronavirus for those of you who aren't in the know. We've been in it so long, we started abbreviating it. Uh, we're going to go around the table and introduce the players first and foremost, going down the list, starting with uh, Carissa. Say hi, Carissa. Hi, Carissa. Um, my last name is Cash, and I'm playing Britt Barrel, who is a stout little dwarf lady with a mean hand because she's a monk. Britt Barrel, dwarven monk, played by Carissa. Fantastic. Going down the line, Curly. Say hi, Curly. Hi, I'm Curly, and I play Furby the Furbolg. I don't have a last name. I love nature, and I also love death and the cycle between the two of them. I'm a druid, a necromancy druid, if you will, at this point. Uh, and it's going to be super fun to play. Curly playing Furby Druid with the Circle of Spores. Going down the line, next on the list is Kaz. Say hi, Kaz. Hello, my name is uh, King Kaz, or at least that's what I go by on the internet. No, it's not a Summer Wars reference. Uh, it's an Eskride reference, an even bigger anime. Um, and then I just threw King on the front of it. And I'm playing a half-elf fighter named Doran, because I like to take letters out of words. <laughs> Summer Wars is actually a really good movie. Go watch it, everybody. Kaz playing Doran, a half elf fighter. Last but not least is Sam Hears. Say hi, Sam. Hello, my name is Sam Hears, and by the time you're listening to this, I will have become rich and famous, and I won't need any of these people anymore, and or anything else, because I'll be super rich, one percent, lots of money. I don't, I won't need any of this basic stuff. But for now, I'm playing as Olna Wabner, the Triton Paladin. And I thought Kaz was a, maybe a reference to Metal Gear Solid. No. We don't was, speak of that in this uh, chat. No, I've, I've, I've been using this name since the 90s. Well, I mean, the that 90s. Could, actually, no, yeah, I hadn't played Metal Gear Solid until like 2000. And with that, we're going to jump into it. Last time on Dynamite D&D, we entered into a tense situation where the three animal powers of Covenant, the rats, the hounds, and the crows, came into uh, conflict, a final confrontation in mm -hmm. the Mulberry Cottage, where ba Balink, Sparkneedle, the dwarf, the, 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 the guy who ran the sideshow the alley, shyster. revealed their true colors. The heroes tried to uh, accost Balink, Sparkneedle, and the rat Covenant to see what ills they had caused. The rats having been discovered, Dropped pretense, and the leader of the Rat Covenant, Nalia, revealed her true nature as a were-rat, a lycanthrope were-rat, and attacked the party. Uh, it was a harrowing battle. The dogs fought alongside the heroes, although some of the dogs almost fell in battle. The heroes prevented any dogs from falling. Uh, they eventually uh, vanquished the rats, but Baylink, Sparkneedle, hightailed it out the back door and was lost in the night. After the, after the fight, the heroes discovered that the King of the Crows was being held captive in a uh, crawl space underneath the floorboards. They rescued the King of Crows, and they were rewarded for finally revealing the mystery behind the kidnapping was of the King of Crows. Was he conscious in, 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 the, in the box? <laughs> yeah, he okay. was wrapped up like a little burrito, little burrito <laughs> bird. Uh, but yes, it was revealed that the... Uh, the rats had made an alliance with Baylink, and the rats were stealing money from patrons at the carnival, delivering it to Baylink, and in turn, Baylink was helping the rats uh, with their nefarious schemes, uh, harboring them, feeding them, etc., etc., helping them uh, gain territory above ground. Uh, the crows rewarded the players with some stuff, the hounds rewarded the players with some stuff, and they all retired to the inn for a much-deserved rest. In the morning, having emerged victorious from that adventure, they gathered together once again in the common room and were greeted by the dockside oracle herself, Bruit Waddle, who asked them to deliver a notice for her to the notice board in town. She also delivered a small little bit of a prophecy saying that should they work together, they would accomplish great things in this world. Uh, with that, the heroes explored the town for a little bit. Uh, they went around to the notice board, and they found some notices. They went around to a couple of areas, the blacksmith, uh, some of the woods in town. 
uh, they noticed a couple of particularly intriguing notices on the notice board. One being that there was a missing person. Two being that there was a blacksmith who was willing to pay a hefty reward for gathering some interesting looking minerals or non-precious gemstones. Uh, they investigated both of those notices, and the missing person was a young woman named Elizabeth Yeoman. They contacted her husband, who had put the notice up, and figured out that she was uh, aspiring to be a fighter, much like her father, and she was last seen going into the southern woods to train. Uh, with that, the party rendezvoused, and they all kind of talked about what was going on, and they decided to immediately head out and search for this missing person. Furby, the druid, turned into a hound of some sort, a dog or a wolf, something like that, and uh, yeah. picked up the scent of Elizabeth Yeoman, and they all found that the scent was leading them to the southern Yeoman. woods. And here is where we rejoin the adventure with the heroes entering into the southern woods. Dynamite D&D, go! Bark, bark, roof. Can I just say, when you said that we were in an intense situation, I really wanted to make a joke about the Clockwork Carnival being tense. Mm -hmm. You missed your opportunity. Uh, he was talking so fast. He does yeah. it on purpose. We try to get our little, a little <laughs> clips in every he now knows. and then. <laughs> We'd be here forever. I just let everybody run there. <laughs> you have to learn to count the spaces in between the breaths. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to run out of breath in a couple seconds. I can get quipping. <laughs> Three words max. Yeah. So here we are, going to the southern woods. Furby is a dog. A I wolf. I can't talk, but I... Yes, am. so I, I made a mistake last time because I thought that you might have a telepathic ability, but that was something completely different. Yeah. That was something that's happening in my other game. You cannot communicate with uh, any language while you're in beast form. Was I, Did we clarify if I was able to communicate with the other animals of my type, like a wolf? <laughs> <laughs> as a druid Sorry. You, as a druid when you're in human form you can convey basic ideas to animals yeah, yeah. that's a druid feature but when you're a wolf uh it's 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 dependent on the type of creature you might be able to influence wolves uh but it's not a guarantee communication hmm. i'll figure it out it's useless uh, but yes, you are in the southern woods and you're following the scent. You rolled some checks to follow it to this wooded area. So now you're going to roll some checks to see if you can follow the scent further. Uh, Furby is leading the way mm -hmm. by the nose. Furby, roll a... Oh, I believe it's a perception check. Yeah, roll Survival, perception you check. Mean? Come on. What's it say in the wolf description about her uh, nose fuck, stuff? I was, look, I was looking up the wild shape wolf. <laughs> mm -hmm. I had it up last time, but I didn't have the well, trying to get over for a dollar. Twenty-five. Wolf. Um, Keen hearing and smell. Wolf has advantage on perception checks that okay. rely on healing or sm hearing or smell. Fine. I know what I'm about. Yeah, you got this. You've never seen a wolf transform before. Uh, all right. Uh, wisdom and advantage, boys. Uh, b -b 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 perception. Boop. That work. There you go. <laughs> hey, yep. you easily pick up the trail in the woods, threading through the trees. Uh, it's a nice wooded area. It's not too dense, not too sparse. Uh, you follow the trail through the woods. There are no there are no uh, established footpaths made by humans or humanoids, but there are plenty of animal trails that are running to and from hither and thither, as you, if you will. You eventually follow the scent to a cave entrance, a small cave entrance in the woods. And I'm sensing that that's where... Persona bless us. us. Uh, the, the, the scent does lead towards the cave entrance. You can see inside the light spills in only... The, the angle of the sun only spills the light in a little bit. It is dark within uh, the cave. I do one of those little doggy pointer things with my snoot. <laughs> and I give a little yelp. And I point towards the thing. And then I do a little circle around uh, Doran. And then uh, I wait while looking into the thing. Into the can place. I look... Can Ol Olna look for um, signs of tracks uh, in and out of the cave? Identify what types of creatures possibly have been in? 
Yes. Roll a perception check. You rolled an 11. Uh, 11, you don't... Uh, do you see 11? You don't see any tracks that... You see, you see basic animal comings and goings. Mm -hmm. uh, but nothing too recent. Uh, okay. The tracks here are not fresh for any... Uh, yeah, any tracks you see here are not fresh. Uh, you only perceive animal footprints. Mm, okay. Do I? Can I tell what kind of animal footprints they is? Uh, roll a nature check. Okay. There are definitely animal footprints here. Uh, you can see some sort of cloven hoofed indentations mm -hmm. that are relatively old. Would I? Possibly I want. I want to try bear. to sniff out for blood. Roll a perception check. Oh, do I just say sniff? Because the yeah. yeah. You do not smell any blood. All right. Uh, I need to light a torch if we're going to go in here. I do not have dark vision. I have a torch. I mean, I have a torch, well, too. Do I, I have a torch? I mean, I do have dark vision. Out too. Wait, I have an item. I don't Where's think the wolf name? has dark vision. I was hoping that would come with the wolf, but I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> I mean, I have some dark vision. Do you want me to poke around in there? Yeah. Uh, Furby says wolf form is staying back until someone else makes a move. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, yeah, me and, me and, me and old Brit are going to start walking into the cave. And me too. I'm going to, I would like dark division. I'm going to light a candle. I got a candle. I'm All right, Scorch. Big duck. Okay. <laughs> Does it have a little tray with a little finger <laughs> hole? You better believe it. Does it come with a nightcap? <laughs> All no, right, just, just so we can keep the semblance of order here, yeah. we are going to move into the cave area. Mm. Let's do it. And we are going to roll for initiative. Once again, rolling for initiative first, click your token on the board and then push the initiative button. Also, if you want to be cool, change your name in the chat to your character name. Done. Gotta remember which one I am there I am. Yeah. <laughs> for those audio <laughs> listeners, Furby got a one. <laughs> yeah, we got ten, ten on Alma and Doran, uh seventeen on Brit, and uh, one on fucking Dumbo Block. <laughs> All right, get him out of there. Like Curly. <laughs> Curly's playing. I'm Dumbo Blop. All right, uh, so first up is Brit has the initiative. I'm going to stroll on in there. She's just going to walk on in. She can, I can see around this corner. Gents, I'm going to go ahead and take a look for us. No worries. Be cautious. Yes. Gosh, oh, all right. Persona guide you. Thank you. Feeling a bit like I'm at home. All right. So, Brit has dark vision up to 60 feet. So, for Brit, this is as if it's dim light. Brit can see five to. Oh, where's my. Where's my. This? So, yeah, you can see in there. Oh, candles suck. All right. Can see something. Just making it out. Give me a second. Hi. Hey. Mm -hmm. Those mushrooms are fungus. Looks interesting. <laughs> it's the same thing. So you can see a cave that is uh, pretty dry. Pretty dry cave. Uh, but it has pockets of fungus growing around on the wall. That's my candle. Can you guys see that? Yes. Nice. 
No, uh, I can't see it. Whatever it is. Oh, I oh. put a, I put like an aura on my guy. Ooh. Oh, I can see it. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Ulna aura. Let's see, let's see. There you go. Oh, now I can see it. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Candlelight, baby. That's, that's a candle for Ulna. <laughs> <laughs> Super small. Uh, Brit also, just because uh, the icon is still there, you received your wound, your, your crippling wound last time, which was yesterday, and I said it was going to take three days to heal up. So this is I... day... This is day two of day three. So you still have five less movement. Ah, uh, we should have took care of that. So that right, doesn't right. really hinder you because you're flipping monk and you had 10 extra movement anyway. That's but true. There you go. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you got to bust both Achilles to be a normal person again. So pretty much, pretty much right now you can move as fast as anybody else because normally it's 25 plus 10 is 35 minus 5 is 30. You just have a strong lean right. to one direction. Uh, so Britt moved there, and you can see the dry cave with some fungus growing on the sides. Uh, what is your passive perception? Your passive perception is 12. Uh, with a 12, you can hear some sort of soft chitinous chittering Ooh. it's a rats Eddie. again dog for the monks who don't read a lot uh what does chitinous mean uh <laughs> <laughs> well justin plays ark and he hasn't told you what chitin is Bug uh on. Chitin is uh you've never flown a kite before oh oh Oh, it's the um the, the, the it, old like the, triple leaved uh, fossil things. Uh sort of. It's roll up, roll up, roll up. <laughs> roll a Google check. <laughs> Dumbass monk. <laughs> roll a knowledge check. No, but for real, what's chitin yeah. again? Uh it's like Carapace. insect plates. Yeah. Insect Bug armor. Bug armor. <laughs> Armor? She, she's like a bug armor that I understand. <laughs> Wee little shields on their back. Are you doing anything else, Brit? Just taking a look around, no. After Brit is all now. Uh, I'm going to move mm -hmm. up as well. Mm -hmm. It's dirty. 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 You do not have dark vision. Don't leave me in the dark. <laughs> but I got a candle. <laughs> yep. You see no extra I see, revelations. I see the, this rock wraps around, though, right? Yes. Okay. Anything else for Ulna? Uh, that was my action. I shall also do, or I would like to do a, um, yeah, a listen check. I'd like to try to hear the sounds of the cave. Your I passive can... perception is what? 11. Uh, 11. You. <laughs> wait, 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 but I get an action. Can I actually do a perception check? If you stop and listen, sure, I'll let you take that action. Yeah. Oh! -ho! Ooh. <laughs> right, roll twice. So you hear uh, the same chitinous chittering. You can perceive that there are couple there. You can you can perceive that there are multiple sources of wow. this chittering, and you can perceive that for the most part. Each source is is making noise one at a time. There's a little bit of overlap, but it sounds like mm. source one, <laughs> source two. <laughs> Communication. There's multiple. They know we're here. I don't like the sound of that. Be on guard. Is this going to be another rat swarm situation? After Olna is Doran. All right. Uh, I am going to move my feet to... I'm gonna move 
Is this cool? Is that is that cool? <laughs> Are we okay yep. with that movement? All right, I'm gonna move here. Um. Hmm. 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 We just walked into the cave. Yada yada yada. Shut the ceiling. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's. Uh, fungus. There's a pathway. Um. You no, know, that, that's all I'm gonna do for now. Cause I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, yeah. That's it. Furby's up. All right, uh, Furby's gonna go here, uh, immediately towards the light because Furby has no vision whatsoever and is really right now. <laughs> uh, I would like to be here, safe in the light, and then do that thing where, like, you know, that like dogs or like wolves open their jowls to like take in all the scents that they can and just sense whatever's here. Mainly, I was looking for direction <laughs> towards wherever the the scent is, the thing we're tra- tracking. What's your uh, face? Mm-hmm. And then if they're also, I don't, I don't know, whatever else you want to give me. Roll a perception check. Yeah, wolf advantage. Oh, thank God. That would be uh, yeah, you pick up the scent towards the right. The so east, the, if you will. Of the cloth of the lady. Or her. <laughs> you also Elizabeth. smell. You smell. You smell, you smell, you smell. Yeah, you smell. <laughs> yep. What else do you smell? You I smell get a scratch on the ear. You smell traces. What do you smell? How can I describe this? You smell one, two, three, four. You smell four distinct scents lingering in this cave, mm-hmm. and you also pick up a very faint, very faint whiff of something. A bit acrid to your nostrils, a bit, a bit un, a un, uncomfortable. Just, <laughs> just a small, small, tiny bit. Does it have a sort of style? Like, is it smell like undeath, or is it something poisonous, or am I just not? We don't know. Okay. Uh, well, I picking up on that smell. I'm concerned, but I'll take one more little step of my five, and I do a little yip, and I point in that direction. A little yip, you say? A very, very mm. light yip. <laughs> Almost inaudible. <laughs> uh, Olna and Brit perceive that chittering stops. Oh, I don't think they liked that little yip he gave. Yep. After Furby is Brit. I'd like to check out here. Hi, uh, oh, got my hands on this rock. Can I tell? I'd like to tell what kind of minerals are around me. I feel pretty comfortable in this cave, and I'm not really invested in the missing lady yet. Um, so, <laughs> what's 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 the rock situation? What's the rock situation around here? And I take a close look, and I put my hands on it, and I give it a little sniff. Whatever dwarves do. <laughs> Roll. A, oh yeah, or roll a. We could have take both quests and then combine them into one. Nature. Yeah, we can make a four if we find it. I don't have a pickaxe. <laughs> From this rock, <laughs> it is simple stone. This simple has to be a rock. nature check. Simple, simple cave stone rock. This is just a regular old rock. Fool's rock, they call it. <laughs> Anything else for Brit? You still have a couple spaces of movement. Yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll pay a little attention to our friend here. And take a little look down where he's pointing. What are you looking out there, Furby? You yep. see a dim light <laughs> down a corridor. And that's Brit. After Brit is Olna. Um, <clears throat> I'm wondering if. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do. A divine sense. I'm gonna, yeah, 
I need to do divine sense. And how do I, I do this? Bloop. Strong evil. Uh, within sixty feet. Um, if there is a celestial fiend or undead within the presence. No, 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 no. And that will use a charisma modifier. You sense. Celestial Fiend or Undead within 60 feet that's not behind total cover. You know the type. You can also detect the presence of any place around the current. How long does this last? This is just a thing that happens. I think it's just a one, it's just like a bonk, a, like a, yep. a peering into uh, it. You do not, you do not detect any Celestials, Fiends, or Undead. Uh, Ooh, the, the place around you, though, the, the the cave itself the cave itself has an evil aura on it though Whoa. it's not so powerful as though it's been desecrated with a spell or anything or some crazy ritual but it's definitely not a good place uh I'm, okay so then I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell Don da, Doran that I'm going to circle and cover if we're gonna go that way to mm -hmm. to the east i'm going to circle around this rock pillar and just cover our, our rear make sure nothing will ambush us but i want you to follow me just in case mm -hmm. and we'll meet and and furby stay brit you stay too we'll be we're just going to circle real quick you got it yep five ten fifteen twenty twenty cinco treinta After uh one. yeah so that was my action okay it's dark all right, so I'm gonna heed Oma, and I'm gonna move to here to kind of search around and, and see what we see over here. Um, are are there any signs of maybe somebody camping in this cave, like in, in anywhere in here? Uh, you do not see any signs of a campsite. Okay. That it for Doran. Yep. For B. Furby's going to get real close up to Brit because Furby can't see because the light left him. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to stare down this pathway and just try to keenly just look for anything that might pop out as far as my little eyes can help. Good All dog. right. Brit. I give Furb a little pat on the head. Right there, Furb. Furby is very gonna... reassured. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to take a few steps in front, but don't you worry, I'll be back. So. <laughs> Furby's no longer feeling good. Uh, I like to check out these mushrooms. <laughs> like, oh, there's a little glint. Oh, that's not gold. What's that? Uh, roll perception. No, you're looking at the mushroom. Roll nature check. Actually, roll... So you want to look at the mushrooms specifically? Yeah, I thought they were maybe a little glint of something, but oh roll, no, it's squishy. Roll a nature check. A nature check. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> God. They are they are yellow mushrooms with red spots. Oh, yep, yeah, these are not gold, that's for sure. Uh, it seems like they've been here for a little while. You see some uh, cobwebs gathered on them. All right. Well, uh, I'll move a little bit more and stop here. I just talk out loud to anyone who's around. I just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to move up here. Uh, as you're moving up there, you hear the chittering start again, but you can perceive that it's, it's, it's much quieter than before. What the frick? After Brit. Hold on. Continuing my walkabout. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And uh, I'm going to double move. 5, 10, 15, uh, 20, 25, 30. 
Also, if anybody, if, anybody has, if anybody hasn't discovered it yet, you can select your token and then just push left, right, up, down to actually move them. What? Wow, I didn't know that. Where's the attack button? <laughs> That's the, your character sheet. <laughs> click. So, Olna moved over there. Yep. <laughs> Double move. Uh, Olna. Passive perception is 11. Olna does not hear the chittering. Doran. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to just catch up with Olna. Um, oh yeah, I I, I give Dor Doran the the clear on right. the, the back side. All right, so I'm gonna just come back this way. Yeah, I'm just catch up with with my friends. Ah, wait, what happened? Uh, what? I lost my movement. Uh, uh, uh. Thunrung's leg is stuck in a rock. You have to, yeah, there you go. Anything else? Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Brit take, take the front here. Alright. Furby. Side. So Furby's now Let's just see. seeing these mushrooms. Since the light's back. Uh, and Furby's going to inspect the mushrooms. Uh, and just a general curiosity of uh, uh, life and, and the new undeath that, that Furby's experiencing. Just looking around uh, what they're growing out of, and I don't know. Just so you have disadvantage on. Actually, no, you're in the candlelight. Never mind. Uh, roll a perception check. Is this, yeah, I get the advantage. You can, that. yeah, you can add it for the smell. Sweet. That is an eighteen. Mm. Eighteen. These particular mushrooms are non-toxic. Uh, they are. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, Sam. Sorry. They're bulu cap mushrooms. Uh -huh. uh, they're non-toxic, but they're not particularly. They're not exactly edible for real food. People don't seek them out for eating them. They're just cave mushrooms. Okay. I've learned more about mushrooms today. <laughs> uh, then after that, uh... they could be. They could. If any of you had any magical knowledge, they may or may not be uh, components for spells. Uh, well, you know, hmm. I don't think I'm components that... for spells or ingredients for enchanting, which um, is a new mechanic of this world. I guess uh, okay. you know, Furby curiosity. I might. Hmm. I don't know how much because I have an herbalism kit, but if I I don't know how many things I can do in my turn. If I wanted to pop out of wild shape and just collect some, I don't know. Uh, you can do you can, uh to 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 shift out is a bonus action. Yeah. Um, and your action was to Which examine you, them. Yeah. Um, I think I'll use my bonus action to pop out of uh wild shape, go back to my furblong, furbolg, form, and then on my next turn I'll mess with the mushrooms. Furby goes there? back to his. Furbolg form. I like to imagine there's a sound associated with that transition. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. After Furby is Brit. I run my hand along the wall, just sort of like press my hand against it, and as I walk, drag my hand along, and I continue on. You can still pet me in this form, Brit. <laughs> Uh, Stop. Brit, as you round the corner, the chittering starts up again and is joined with shrieking of spiders. Oh. Brit. Friend, we have a bit of an issue. <laughs> yeah, Brit can see the cave. Oof. You're you're a bit far away there, kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the spiders have been waiting since they heard that yip. They've been readying their action. If they see a creature, they will attack. Whoa. So now we are going to put into the initiative order. Spider. 
Spiders. Bump, 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 bump. Bump, bump, bump. Bump, 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 bump. So three large spiders Oy. scurry out, and they try to bite you. First attack on Brit is a critical fail. All right, getting it, getting it right out there. <laughs> what happens on this one's critical fail? Where are my charts? <laughs> charts. Critical start, charts. Start. <laughs> this is a melee critical fail. It is going to roll a d100. That is a 60. 60. The weapon slips from your hand as you attack. Well, it's not actually using a weapon, but... His tooth falls out. His tooth. <laughs> <laughs> His fang falls out. <laughs> Oh, it's so loose. <laughs> Spire another ingredient for component pouch. Ooh. It is going to have disadvantage on its next attack. That was this one with the red disadvantage button. That was number one. All right. Second attack on Brit is going to be a big miss. Damn. Seven to hit. Third attack is going to be a 10 to hit. Three misses. Next up, after those spiders. Uh, after the spiders is. Uh, so, Britt, that was your move, and now you can take an action. Well, I mean, it seems pretty clear to me that these gentlemen would not like to engage in discourse. Um, so I'm, I'm a, I'm gonna just kind of just punch one. I'm gonna just, just boom, punch one. Um, so uh, I'm gonna do the this one. They, hmm? and out of. Reaction, here we go! Ouch. Damn it! <laughs> I mean, gosh darn it! Your punch fails to do any damage to the spider. I'm just taking a back! All right, so that's Brit's turn. The spiders did their thing. Uh, How large are these spiders? Are they... They are the size of... Uh, their size of beagles. Okay. Jeez. Great. They are they are giant spiders. Oh, uh, that's Brit. After those spiders, you are going to see. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> After that, you're going to see an even bigger spider. A even bigger spider no. scuttles out from the side, launches a web at you. The web is going to make a ranged attack. Thirteen to hit Brit. Oh, I know. I'm fourteen armor class. All right, the web splooshes off to the side. And then the spider disappears back into the corner. Ooh. Uh, stand by. And turn. Olna. I'm moving in to the cave. 10. 15, 20, 25. So you're holding a candle. I, I got my shield away. I put my okay. shield away. 
I got a sixteen. Yeah, I'm running ahead like Geppetto. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, da, 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 da. I can't do anything. Thirty, I guess. Yeah. Um, so you can see Brit just barely on the edge of the light. You can see frightened. the gleam of many, many beady eyes reflecting the. Yeah, I heard. I heard a scuffle, so I ran ahead and. Da, 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 I don't have. Um. Guess that's about. I could double move. Yeah, we are going to. Or, mm, I have my fighting style is protection, right? Where is that? It's in your features. First, you can use your reaction to impose a disadvantage on an attack against an ally within five feet of you. Uh, can I use a reaction? Right, you said. Yes. All right. So then I'm going to double move. And I'm going to can. Oh, what about? Is it a bonus action to equip my shield? Uh, it is. You get you get one swap per turn, so you can put the candle away and pull out your shield as okay. uh, a free action. So then I'm gonna do that. Bring out my shield. One eight, and then move up beside my friend Brit. There. All right. You don't have dark vision, so you are effectively blinded. Mm -hmm. Oh, now we've got a bit of an issue. There's spiders here. Spiders, Olna. I got you, girl. Olna is Doran. All right. Um. Mm. All right, I'm going to move up, and I'm going to pull out my crossbow and uh, take aim at your boy, uh, spider you know to... This one is the one that you can attack without penalty. Okay, yeah, I'll attack that one. Uh, where is the crossbow? Seven. That will not hit. Uh, We're off to a great to start. <laughs> <laughs> your, bolt, to your bolt whooshes by Brit's ear over the heads of any of the spiders. After Doran is Furby so in the blackness. With the candle going on, I'm effectively just blind in this cave, right? Yep. Uh, so I, uh, Furby's going to straight up just light a torch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, All right. 20 feet, di 20 feet bright light, 20 feet dim light. Uh, would I be able to... 25 feet? 20 feet each one. Uh, so I can see them then at this point. So if you're yeah. using a torch, then you're either putting away your staff or your shield. Uh, I would have to put away the shield and pull the torch out. Uh, and then I'm going to move to here. As far as I can get close to my friends mm -hmm. with the torch. Do the aura. Do the aura. What aura? Oh. Aura. In the, in the, aura. In the character. Click on your character, then click on the, the little cog. And then you can add the aura. Oh. So lighting a torch would be an action. Moving is another action. Or uh, moving is the move. Yeah. Um, uh, yep. And uh, unless you want to do a bonus action. My, my, my bonus action is going to be... Uh, Casting my shillelagh cantrip on my staff. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's up. Uh, next up is Brit. Top of the round. All right. Uh, I just got an idea. Uh, I've seen lots of movies where you you wave a lit f flame at arachnids or snakes, and they don't seem to like it. Um, does Brit have any knowledge about? Spiders, you, cave spiders. You can do a nature check to see what you know about. Ah, uh, nature check. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the kryptonite of Brit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That's not terrible. Uh, 11. You have experienced, you've experienced uh, regular spiders being 
of adverse to fire and the like, but you don't know how giant spiders react. Okay, and if I understand correctly, if I light a torch and wave it at them, that is my action, and I cannot attack them. If you so lighting a torch, first of all, will be the action. Um, just waving it, unless you're actually trying to attack, you can just wave it, no problem. But actually lighting the torch will be the action. If you're actually trying to attack them with the torch, you can't light the torch and then attack. It's two separate actions. Could Brit grab my torch if I was willing? Uh, yeah. I don't know how much of that saves action movements and whatnot. Yeah. It'd be an action to grab it, I would imagine, from you. Eh, I'd, I'd allow it. It's the same as, like, putting away your shield or taking out your sword. But if I move away from them, they get to attack, right? Correct. I can, I can um, definitely I can give you a disadvantage on one of their attacks against you if you decide to stay there. Okay. Um, when it comes to their turn, that is. I I feel like I don't have time for the torch thing, even though it was a great idea. Um, I'm going to just attack them. So, uh, since this one is disadvantage, I'm going to attack this one. All right, your arachnids, it's time to bring out the sickle. Take a leg. Oh, it was so close to being a 17, but nope, it's a 7, and that does not hit. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, um, uh, that's all I got. <laughs> after Brit are some spiders. So we're going to do two attacks. We're going to do two attacks on Brit and one attack on Olna. I'd like to do a reaction against one of the attacks on Brit with a protection. Yep. So this one already has disadvantage from its critical fail. So this will roll with disadvantage already. Ooh, it rolled a 19 and a 20. So that's one hit on Brit. Oh God. That is going to be a D. Four piercing damage to Brit. And then, Brit, you're going to have to make a constitution saving throw. No! Fuck. Mm. Uh, Brit, the spider venom is injected into Jeez. your blood, and you take an additional three poison damage. I think Brit did something to upset her dwarven god. The spider there... Whoop. Uh, drop a dice. Wait, so that wait. one's disadvantage is not there anymore. And Olna is imposing disadvantage on this next attack against Brit. And that is a good disadvantage. That one misses. The one that is attacking Olna now attacks. That is a 14 to hit. Miss! Those are the spiders. After those spiders... All right. Me? Once again, the spider man? is going to launch a web at Brit. That is going to miss. That is a 10 to hit with the web. Is there a restriction on my um, protection? You. It uses your reaction, so you get one per round. Oh, per round. Okay. Thank you. Oh, so that was that one. Olna is up. Uh, I'm going to strike with one hand, because I, I have a shield in one hand, so I'm going to strike this, um, the one that's closest to, you know, closest to me, par uh, what's it called? Diagonal for me, with a one-hand strike of my trident. Please, please, mother of God. 13 will hit. Ah, oh, yeah, four piercing. <laughs> four piercing damage. And then I'm going to go ahead and move up as well. All right. Your trident stabs into the abdomen of the spider. It hisses in pain. Doran is up. Um, I just got to get closer. Um... I'm going to go... Actually, hmm. 
Yeah, I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna take another shot with my across a bit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, were you doing it this one, same one? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. Same one, same one. <laughs> Thunk. All right. Another bolt Pew, away. We're gonna get there. After Doran is Furby. Um, a Furby is going to. Uh, where's my button? Furby's gonna move around the back side here, staying next to this spider. It's gonna go right here and drop the torch and pull my shield out. So the torch is now here. Can I put the torch down right here, like next to me, like right here? Or, or do I uh, lean over to it and just drop it right there? <laughs> or you drop just... it. It's just gonna drop at your feet. Okay, that's fine. Shield is on, and then I'm gonna shillelagh this uh, this spider right here. Uh, sure, Lately. Oh, Ooh, that's a crit. 20. Yeah, I was <laughs> confused. Hey, so, big crit. Thing. Crit, crit, roll a d100. Uh, nice, dice, d100. 38. 38. You're Come able to maneuver down. towards your opponent while attacking and attempt to harass them. After your attack, you can choose to attempt to grapple your opponent if you have a free hand or attempt to shove your opponent if both hands are in use. Uh, mm -hmm. Would you like... So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 11, 15. Do you wish to kill this spider? And I want to shove it just a little bit. But yes, we can kill the spider. They came in swinging. Ugh. Can I smash it with my shield into the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Make a pudding. <laughs> spider uh, pudding. So yes, you uh, squash the spider's uh, head, and a greenish black goo begins spewing out from its eyes. <laughs> mm. uh, so that was Furby. You moved. You dropped. You attacked. So there's Brit. a torch now there. All right. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So there's a torch That's near them. Cool. I'm thinking the torch is not really affecting them. We're going to drop that idea. Silly <laughs> Brit. All right. I'm just going to swing at this guy here. This one right here. No more messing around. Take this. God damn it! Britt continues to mess around, and her <laughs> sickle uh, scrapes harmlessly off of the spider's uh, chitinous body. Just get one of the legs, oh, Britt. I'm trying. I think I'm drunk. <laughs> Spiders. We're going to have one attack on Furby, one attack on Britt. Mm-hmm. Brit, first of all. Ten to hit. That's a miss. Furby. Uh, seven to hit. Another Not miss. Hit. After those guys is this guy. Womp, womp. Going to shoot a web at Furby. Reaction of uh, protection. Uh, doesn't, uh, yep. Reaction, disadvantage. Uh, miss on the web. Oh. <laughs> Poppin' spider. After that spider is Olna. Thank you, Olna. Crun crunch. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to attack the guy straight ahead of me. No, actually, the guy in front of Brit. I'm going to attack with a uh, one-handed piercing trident. That's a hit. Four, All right. Eight damage. Oh, right in the fork. Anything else, Elna? That's going to be it. Doran. Uh, um. Hmm. What is the spacing? I can just dash at this guy, right? Yeah. I'm gonna fucking 
I'm gonna fucking run at this guy. I'm gonna put my cross. Well, hold on. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put my crossbow away, and I'm gonna take a strike with me sword at this guy. Oh, I'm gonna go here. And it's kind of hard to see with the aura, but that's a wall. You can go right there and attack him. Okay. How's your HP, Brit? Wait. Uh, so I don't remember the poison damage I was supposed to take. Three. So I need to add Thank you. Okay. A 17 will hit, and you do seven slashing damage. Do you wish to kill this spider? Yeah, man. Always. Kill them dead. They fought valiantly, but they weren't ready. <laughs> I yep. am at a, a 12. You open a, a huge gash along the spider's body, and its, it's, it's, it's innards spill out. Mm. The exoskeleton no longer holding it together. After Doran is Furby. Furby's going to do what Furby does best and shillelay this spider. Right here. Shillelay. That's a bad shillelay. Nine <laughs> will not make contact. It bounces harmlessly from the spider's legs. Um, yep. <laughs> Next up is Brit. In the briefest of moments, I look up at the cave ceiling and I say, Moreden, I know you and I haven't been on the best of terms lately, but it seems like maybe I should start paying more attention to you. So I promise that's what I'm going to do. I promise, just get me through this and I will start actually doing all that stuff you seem to require of your followers. Great! Okay, here we go. I am going to sickle again! More than with me! Hey, there you go, finally. <laughs> Some three slashing damage on that one. You're going to pray every time you attack now. Oh, I think I have to. <laughs> and. And. Uh, and. And. I'm. Uh, I don't know. What? And. Uh, you going to do your monk thing that you do? Use key? You mean? Your unarmed strike that you get. Oh, I get one without using a key point? When you take the attack action with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon, you can make one unarmed strike as a bonus action. Oh! Nice. Swinging a punch. Oh. I, I have to say, she's not a very good monk. Hi! Ha! Uh, 15 will do it for another 6. Wow. Maxed out that one. I've got a big fist. You slash it, and you punch it. I call that the old slash and punch. So you, you automatically get the unarmed strike single as the bonus action. If you spend the key point, that's when you can spend one key point and make that 2. And do flurry of blows and yeah flurry oh. blows give you two not just one but i have to actually have hit the first attack and uh, made contact in order to use the bonus action no it's when you make an attack you don't have this to hit whole it. time yeah read your class description folks oh man uh after brit unless you actually Spider. do want to spend your key point now and do another one nope all right Spider number one, uh, which is technically spider two. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Furby is getting attacked by a spider. Finally. And is a miss from that spider. Fantastic. I'm just, just webs just whipping by me. <laughs> The big spider uh -oh. rushes ya. <laughs> yeah. 
Fighting protection. Disadvantage. <laughs> 14 to hit. Uh, that is going to hit. 14 to hit is you take eight piercing damage. Oof. Badoofa. And roll a constitution save. Hold on, adjusting health. Whoops. Hit a button. Uh, constitution saving throw. 16. You are okay. Mm. Verbal. Uh, really. Well, mostly okay. No, I'm, I'm hurt. <laughs> you saved, so you take half damage. Oh. Half damage of 10 is 5 poison damage. Oof, big bite. So that's an addition to the 8 that I just took? Correct. Oof. Okay. Next up, Olna. Oh, sorry. Uh, is, this a, is this a spot? How do I click on it? I hold it, right? Or is there a wall? Yeah, it's a wall. Oh, the the black. Oh, I see. The blackness is the wall. Gotcha. Um, shit. Mm, I think. Uh, you're. Are you pretty banged up, Ferb? Oh yeah, I'm down to four out of seventeen HP. Uh, I'm gonna lay on hands, and give you. Uh, do, 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 do. Store total number of hit points equal to your paladin level times five. Level two, so ten. I can I is ten gonna fill you up or can I keep some of those? You, you I won't fill me up. I mean I'll be at fourteen out of seventeen. All right, I'm gonna give lay on hands uh ten hit points. Thank you. I feel invigorated. Persona plus this poor previous dog. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move uh oh wait, is this guy this spider still alive, huh? Hey, big 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 boys, big boys. Jeez. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to move up and it let it provoke, uh, have an opportunity attack upon me. Uh, okay. Opportunity attack. 16 to hit. Yes. After Ulna is Doran. Uh... What would be the best thing for us as a group? Would it be if I attack the big guy? Because Brick can probably take out this other little spider. Make your move. Like... All right, I'm gonna go for the big spider. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give uh, here. No, because that gives a attack of opportunity to this other spider, right? It already no. took one against the oh, one. Okay, okay. Have Sweet. Bang. The fuck out of here, kid. Um, and I'm gonna go for the big spider. Well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you rush up and swing your sword. The spider lifts up its right side legs and evades. Uh, after Doran is Furby. Um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it because I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna use my uh symbiotic entity uh, which is my uh uses my wild shape feature i can put that in the chat there uh which now channels uh magic into the spores that surround me uh i gain uh, at this level eight temporary hit points uh temporary hit points and uh i have some stuff i can do as reactions when um when my turn, or when they do their you turn. You're the last of us looking motherfucker right now, bro. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so now, now there's a, a halo of spores that are hanging out near me. Oh. Uh, so anyways, look like a clicker. It does affect my mate. So that was bonus to start that? Ouch. Or is that an action to start that? Wild Shape is... as an action. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm terrifying okay, now. Okay, now you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stay here. And is that your last wild shape? Yeah, that's my last wild shape for this. All right. All right. So we got some spores whirling around after uh, Furby is Brit. I'm taking this spader out. All right. Here we go. Uh, first, we're going to sickle it. Yep. 
Yeah, we are. Do you wish yeah. to kill the spider? Oh, we're killing it. Mm-hmm. Sickle comes down right in the middle, right between those two things behind the eyes. The spider is dead. Without ah, a sound. Sorry. Without a sound, it just collapses. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to move. Oh, there's quite a wall of people here. Uh, <laughs> I... Can I move past to get on the other side? So, uh, can I do this? Yep. We're doing that then. Uh, and can I use my bonus action that I'm now extremely aware of to do an unarmed strike against this guy? Yes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Just going to punch one of his eight legs. That will hit for three bludgeoning damage. Pew! That's it. Stay not, away from my friends. Not spending any key points. Not yet. All right. After Brit, spiders are dead. Big spider's turn. So big uh, spider is starting its turn within ten feet of me. Yes, it is. So I can use my reaction to uh, deal one d four times two since I have my symbiotic entity. Uh, you have to do a constitution saving throw against my 13 spell save. It rolled a 7. So it does not save. So you take 2d4 damage. 2d4. Ooh, that's nasty. 1 and the 2. Whoops. Nice. Oh, it was so eight. I didn't do that. Okay, cool. <laughs> you maxed. You rolled 8. Hey, yo. What, what, what kind of damage is that? Uh, necrotic. Necrotic. Dang. Yeah, it's nasty. Uh, so now it's the spider's turn proper. Uh, feeding off the scent of blood, it's going to attack Brit. Protection! Protection. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Good call. <laughs> oh, my God! Because you protected Furby last time it attacked right yeah well it's she's far away too far away from me uh correct yes she's too far away so there you go Ooh. Ooh. that's a uh 19 to hit oh it hits uh damage Eight. oh <laughs> <laughs> you oh, take no. you take eight piercing oh, no. eight piercing damage and roll a constitution save. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh man. <laughs> More than I thought we were on the same page. Oh, oh, oh. I just rolled snake eyes for real. Actual snake eyes. You take two poison damage. Dang, that was 2d8. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. All right. Uh, that is Spider. After Spider is Olna. Olna. I'm going to do a... And uh, does... Uh... Oh, fuck. What's your fucking name? Furby have uh, the torch out still? It's, on the, it's still below on the ground at your feet, so yeah, you okay. can see. So I'm gonna I just do it because it was hard to see stuff. Uh, I guess I still have to do one-handed because I have my shield out, but I'm going to do that with Divine Smite on top. Ooh. Uh, in addition to the weapons, damn it. Well, let's see the attack first. Come on. Ah, 10 to hit. Uh, that's a miss. Damn. But you use Divine Smite. That's a concentration. It lasts until you hit. Or if you break concentration, so oh, okay. it's still, still, still going for your next strike, right? Mm, am I am I wrong about that? I don't know. It's in the paladin, so it doesn't say what it is in, a, in the actual paladin. Divine smite. Oh, the actual spell smites work that way, but the actual just divine smite might be different. Yeah, divine smite doesn't say specify 
concentration. I think it's just a one-time thing. When you hit a creature, you can expend. So yes, you have not expended a slot because gotcha. you did not hit. It's like a yeah. smack and then a foof. If you smack, yes. Yeah, then you woof. So that was Ulna. Anything else, Ulna? Uh, that's all I have Doran. for the time. Stop using your Q, Doran. You need to use your right click. Huh? Your turn. Yeah. Um... Okay, let's just do this first. Longsword, that will hit for eight damage. And then I'm going to use my action surge. Action surge. Action surge. Um, And I think I just take another attack, right? There's another. Do attack. it. Boom. Yeah. Nice. Time. Excellent. Do you wish to kill the spider? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I do. How, how, how do you kill the spider? Uh, I, I slash it once and then I, I turn and repost upon it and, and slash again. <laughs> That's a fencing term, right? <laughs> the spider is slashed open and expires. You have successfully resolved combat. Woo! I got 10 minutes of temporary hit points. Someone hit me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, all right. Let's 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 uh, let's explore this cave. See what these spiders were were protecting. The uh, most notable feature of the cave is that mm -hmm. all of these stalactite formations right here is actually a rich deposit of quartz and amethyst. Mm. Oh, shit. Let's get Quite out of those. a Let's rich deposit those. of quartz and amethyst. I uh, could use those to take back to the, the forge and, and... The blacksmith. Since I'm the only one who needs money. it, I'm picking up the torch. <laughs> <laughs> You pick up the torch. Uh, the most notable thing is the quartz and amethyst. There is a puddle of murky water in here. Um, there are some larger mushrooms here. And there is a very, very dense wall of mushrooms. Look in here. Mushrooms, mushrooms, super, super, super dense clustered together. Uh, Furby wants to check out these mushrooms first because they caught his eye. Uh, not as dense of a wall of mushrooms, but... Uh, definitely mushrooms. Same like bubble uh, cap stuff or whatever, or anything. Roll, roll a nature check. What is your nature, uh, Furby? It's an int, <laughs> so it's one, so thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Most of them are bulu caps, but you you spy one, uh, one, uh, reverse colored mushroom. It is red with yellow spots that you know can be used to make healing potions if you have herbalism kits. I will collect uh, it with my herbalism kit. You can get one. If you find three, you can make a healing potion for yourself. Sweet. I, uh, I keep an eye out for, for any of those now that I know what they are. Uh, I also grab some of the bolo caps just to have a little bit in my herbalism kit. Yep. Uh, and I guess I don't know how much you want me to keep going because I'm going to keep looking at mushrooms. <laughs> uh, everybody, everybody can act independently. All right. I, I I call Britt over so we can get some of these these uh, ores. Uh, I'll break out my Smith's tools once I'm done throwing up in my mouth because I'm so full of poison. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I do a uh, mm, shit? I spent all my lay on hands. Wait, do we have a healing potion on somebody? I I don't anything? have it. I can I can spell cast. Hold on. Well, no, we yeah, do yeah. have we do have a potion of healing. I told you to keep track of your inventory. I, I love. I don't, well, I don't have it. I don't have it. Someone. I else have it. Can. I have it. I have it. I'm gonna okay. give it. I'm gonna give the healing potion to to Britt. Are you sure, friend? Yeah. We might need it later I, on. I, I, hold on. I, I can come heal, guys. Don't worry about it. I'll just come heal you with cure wounds. All right. I, I hand the, the vial back to Doran. Uh, Let's hold on to this just in case. Back in goddamn pocket. Uh, cure wounds, <laughs> level one. Just, uh, wow, big one. On a touch. Okay. Britt regains 11 HP. 
Oh, thank you, Furby. You're still I'm probably spilling. poisoned, but or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but now the room isn't spinning quite as much. <laughs> so Britt and Doran are trying to extract some of the uh, quartz and amethyst. Yes. You have Smith's tools. Smith's I tools do. will involve oh, nice. a sizable hammer. So yeah, I'll let you knock off some chunks. Awesome. Uh, you needed 20 pounds of whatever. Oh, hmm. yeah. Um, you said there's amethyst and quartz here? Yep. Okay. I mean, I'll take as much as I can carry. Uh, ooh, although I don't know what else is happening in this. Would it be possible to just make a pile, assuming we're going to come out the same way? Mm. What do you think, Doran? Should we just make a pile and grab it on the way out, or you think we should split this and carry it? I think you should just take what we can. All right, let's do it. I'm going to carry whatever I can. You can, you can, and you can, maybe? Does I mean, anyone else? 20 divided by 4 is just 5, so 5 pounds easy. Yeah. If anyone's willing, uh, here's a chunk of quartz. Sure, yeah. Uh, I only would like to look for um, webbing, and in particular, if they have any meals webbed up somewhere in the cave. Uh, you definitely see uh, around this area down here is quite a bit of webbing, uh, but you don't perceive anything tied up in the webs. Hmm. Uh, Furby, roll a perception check. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nine. Uh, you don't, you, 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 it's a super, super dense cluster of mushrooms. Uh, make cool ones. You perceive just bulu caps. All right. I want to go to the next mushrooms. <laughs> Avoiding this liquid. Need to roll a perception check. Much better, 17. You find another uh, heel mushroom. All right, two of those. Anything new in this pile or more? Uh, nope. nope. Just more voodoo caps. Just going around the wall. Looking for this. What's this guy over here? <laughs> uh, roll, roll a d20. Uh, okay. Give it a lick. <laughs> That's how you try. <laughs> you never know. Six, seven, 16. Straight nice. 20. Oh, you find one more uh, red mushroom with yellow spots. Ooh. So you have three now. Uh, how long to kit up a potion? One hour. Uh, we'll do that later. Can I plunge? I'm trying to reach the rock, the cave wall behind this dense wall of mushrooms. Your hand passes through the mushroom wall. There is no cave rock behind it. Oh. How did I not see that? Mushroom guy. <laughs> Guys, there's a hollow behind this mushroom wall. Mm -hmm. uh, can I try to tear, tear it or spread it open or something or dig into it? You can shred up the mushrooms away to reveal a oh God, I'm hungry now. passageway <laughs> that leads deeper into the rock face. Uh, guys, we're not quite done here yet. What am I picking up from this pile of rocks that you guys uh, got in mind out there? Uh, five pounds. Amethyst. Five pounds of either quartz or amethyst? Do we need a 20 pounds either of one? Both? Quamethyst. Yeah, one or the other. Okay. I, I, I took amethyst. five pounds take of quartz. quartz. No. <laughs> All right. Okay, I'm taking five pounds of amethyst if that's available. <laughs> uh, who, Britt, did you say you picked up the torch? Uh, I, picked uh, up I did not. Torch. I picked up the torch as I was walking around. I have a candle lit, uh, my candle lit again. Got it. But Furby, just want to make sure Furby. Furby's got a torch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the. I don't want to. Furby, would you take a bit of uh, amethyst here for us? Sure. Could just split it. Great. Ooh. There you go. Everyone has five pounds of something. All right. Uh, yeah, you can see. The... Thou, Steve, was that a? Did we? We didn't go down and where that little, where the where this cave splits off. There, oh, there looks like sorry. that air. Oh no, I'm just curious. 
Is there anything? Should take a peek over there real quick. Ah. Mm -hmm. More mushrooms. More mushrooms. Ah. Uh, I mean, unless you stop me, I'm gonna search these mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll, hurry up. Roll a d20. Boot, 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 boot. Nope, you don't find any more. Furby out. Uh, can I do like a nature check to see if these could have grown over this hole in the last two weeks? Yes, Does you can sense? roll that. Ooh, 18. Mr. Nature. <laughs> Uh, two weeks, you know that cave mushroom mushrooms are particularly fast growing, so yeah. it is within the realm of possibility that these could have grown over within two weeks. I say we mo we move to search inside this this alcove of this cave. I agree. Oh, what alcove means is exactly. Right. If there's more I'm mushrooms, in, but I'm, I'm not going first this time. I am. Me and Furby will go first. Yeah, I have a torch. I'm, I'm a little bit more. Britt, you take care of yourself. Are you still poisoned? No. Uh, no, it was just, it was just damage. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. No, yeah, we'd I'm like just to. Just a little bit shy now. <laughs> All right, marching in. Well, no harm in praying like I you am. did in the middle of the fight. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Thank you, Olna. Persona guide you. Mora didn't be with you. Now we got competing religion kids. <laughs> <laughs> I just reconnected. Okay, so. The feeling is strong. So you continue on down the cave uh, <laughs> for a few minutes. It takes about five minutes to continue on. It's a narrow corridor that uh, winds a little bit. But eventually you come into another cave system. And you see a new room here. You see a cave system that is covered in fresh silk of spider silk. Oh, Jesus. Um, where are we? I don't think go. that was the biggest uh, spider we'll face today, guys. This is, this is a small room, a small cave with a 10-foot high ceiling. The entire room is covered in webbing, uh, and all that counts as difficult terrain as you move through this room. Um several webs now that you have the torch out you can see several webs are stretched from floor to ceiling and several of them have animals that are trapped in the fibers we're gonna go ahead and roll for initiative to get mm -hmm. an order of things so everybody please select your token and roll for initiative not too bad 15. <laughs> Somebody's got to be last. I don't feel very good. <laughs> Morden has not shined upon you with his hammer and sickle. Don't you say that. Girl, we're going to have a session after this quest. We're going to pray our fucking tits off. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, yeah, several webs stretched to the ceiling. They have animals trapped and wound up in the sticky fibers. At a glance, you can see pretty easily. Uh, also, this map, uh, obviously, I stole from the internet, so it's got, like, markings and junk on it. Ignore the markings and junk. Or the secrets, you mean. Uh, so you can see at a glance that there are are three boars trapped in the webs as well as a black bear and they all struggle weakly against the bindings okay. of the webbing that was the first thing i was <laughs> going to ask is if they were alive um i oh sorry so starting with uh <laughs> furby what is your Furby, passive perception is 13. Look at you. It's wisdom, baby. Uh, you can see that all the webbing in this room is connected in one way or another. Hmm. 
salt. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, was the Ewok adventure movie with the big spider? <laughs> uh, I warn everyone that... What? Ewok adventure? No, is there, you, okay, we're not going to go into that. That's a whole other podcast. <laughs> um... I warn everyone that the web is connected uh, and my considerable knowledge of spiders is most likely going to alert whoever <laughs> made the web. Um, but roll, roll uh, a nature check. Nature check. Nature, nature. You're so 16. Nature. 16. Realize that trauma to one area of the webbing could send shockwaves through the whole system. So as long as we... We gotta traumatize this web. Do I mean? What, is that gonna be bad for or these animals that are stuck it. in here? Yeah. Because I want. My, first and foremost, Furby wants to to help the animals that are trying to move. Are they? Are they? Are, you said they're wiggling and barely moving. Are they? Is it? Is it affecting the web in any way? Like you can like see all of it moving, I guess. And I so know. you're moving up to this one, and you wish to help the animal. I want. Uh, I want uh, to you. I want to convey oh. with speech of beast and leaf. Oh no! As best I can, that I'm here to help. So roll. Can I, can I stop him? Can I stop him? <laughs> you're all free to speak and talk, but Furby's got the initiative. Furby, stop! No. What? I. These animals are in distress. Yeah, but you it, said if we disturb the web, it could. It could. My my concern uh, is that if it, it might hurt them if 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 there's too much trauma to the web. Yes, but we don't know what's up ahead. If, if we might things... give away our our advantage on sneaking up on whatever made this web, if we try to save these boars right now, we could do it after we try to kill whatever created this stuff. I try to convey that with all of my ability to the animals that are here. If they just trust us, we'll be back and help them. They can understand the meaning of my words. But I have no special ability to understand them. Let them let the stop. Let them focus on surviving for the right now. Let's focus on freeing them after we. Can I gingerly give them some rations? <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, roll. I'm gonna cut his head off. <laughs> roll, roll an animal handling check with advantage. Oh boy. That's twenty-two. You can give. Nice the boar in front of you some nuts <laughs> give him these nuts <laughs> God, someone had to say <laughs> uh and again just conveying using uh because it says i have advantage on charisma checks i've tried to influence the animals i just want them to calm down and be know that we're here to help and safe and yep. we're gonna come back yep all right and uh then i i guess try to plot a path through this room Can you convey that we are not spiders to them uh yes <laughs> <laughs> i hope they figured that one out uh, cool. So yeah, you have uh, one, two, three, four. You got one more square movement left. Uh, I wanna. I'll. I'm just gonna. <laughs> That'll Doran. Be um, I'm gonna walk up a little bit since I do have some dark vision, but I'm going to try to be very cautious to not touch any of the webbing. Um, Difficult as... terrain. Half movement speed. Ignore the T, right? Oh, the T junk? Half movement speed? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to move here next to Ferb. Oh, that's not me. That's me. We could burn the I'm web. Stop here. Anything else? What they said about Morgan Web and that didn't go on it. Burn the um, web. Uh, no, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, I just no. want to get to where we're going. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to move here, and I'm going to do another um, divine sense, divine sense, divine sense, divine sense. <laughs> Celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. You don't perceive any celestial fiends or undead within 60 feet. Uh, but same as the other cave, this whole area radiates pretty negative evil energy, worse than the last cave. Mm -hmm. As you can probably as assume, this cave is not cool. <laughs> Persona bless us and be cautious, team. Uh, yeah, so that'll be that's my move and my action. That's, that's it for me. 
I will move up with my friends. Is it is it pitch is it dark in here as well? Yep. Okay. I forgot I have a candle. candle. You got a torch? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'll keep yellow. my candle out for now until we get into until we get into it. Um, from where I'm standing, can I see any further dim light into this corridor here? Uh, barely. With my torch out, it's it is dim light, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're using dark vision. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just stay where I am. Um, stay where you, you pet the rat. And don't go where you isn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't touch anything. Yeah, I'm gonna stay very still. Brit does I... the best pats. <laughs> I thought I gave the best pats. You fine bitch. <laughs> I can imagine as a, even if I'm in, you know I'm, I'm a druid in wild shape if I'm a wolf I'm like there's like a nate like ooh that feels good behind the ears yeah <laughs> I mean look at my big fat fingers makes sense <laughs> oh valid uh, valid I'm just I'm I'm swollen feeling, with venom <laughs> yeah Brit's feeling a little under the weather I'm gonna just stay right here all right Furby. Uh, Furby is uh, intently going to watch his steps and move forward. 10, 15. Uh, yeah, looking out for any like webs, stepping over stuff, trying to avoid. And that's... Uh, how about how about this bear? How's this bear doing now that I'm close enough to see him? Uh, same. Just uh, struggling weakly. Alive, though. Yep. Uh, same thing. Uh, if I can convey to him through my speech uh, that we will not leave him here, but we need to figure out what is ahead. Yes. Uh, it pauses in its struggling for a moment, and then it uh, just kind of sits there. <laughs> it's very sweet of you, Furby. Good bear. Uh, Doran. I'm going to move up just a slight beat here. Hold on, let me, let me measure this out, make sure that's right. Five, 10, 15, yep, okay. Uh, move up here and um, kind of try to start to see down this pathway a bit here. See what lies ahead. Trying are your necros peaks? Are your necrospores gone, Furby? Has it been 10 minutes? Oh, uh, since the end of the last battle, yeah, because you were searching around the mushrooms yeah. and stuff, and you okay. got the boar stuff. So, so yeah, been... I, I was just the, curious how long it lasted. The spores are still there; they're just invisible. But the the bonus ambiotic te temporary hit points is gone after ten. Anything else, Doran? No, no, no. That was it. Olna, peering around the corner. We're gonna here. double move. To how do we do a thing? Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. In the maw of a spider. <laughs> You'd say this whole cave was evil, right? What if, what if the whole cave is a big spider? <laughs> Get in my what Big spider. I can't even understand what you just said. We're in the, uh, we're in the big <laughs> whale. As you uh, go up and around the corner, you see that the webbing from the floor thins out about here, here, and uh, you're on a gradual slope down. And you can see what it looks like. It's opening up into a larger chamber with a higher ceiling, uh, but you can't see too far into it. Uh, you can see the webs on the ground have thinned out. Uh, but overhead, the webbing still continues to be dense. Overhead, oh. okay. Brit. All right. <clears throat> Half speed, right? Movement? Yes. I'm going to move entrapment style, whatever it takes. Uh, um, no, this way. Can I occupy this space, or am I... You can keep going, yeah. 
Okay, well that was 15, so I think that's all I can move. For a single move, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Watch out. Yeah, no, I'll go ahead and double move because I don't see another good course of action. Herps, here we are. Furby. Um, can I'm trying to. I want to perceive if if I can tell it. Like, you said everything's connected. Are they all coming together to go one way, like down the thing? Like, is it? Can I notice if the, all the webbing is going into like a certain? It's like a network here. Then it's like then it's it's going into the next room kind of thing. Like that's the other thing you were trying to say. With the... is there a node path? Uh, yeah, that's just what I told. Yeah. Olna, okay. That the webbing thins down on the ground, but it continues to be and dense on this. And all the stuff in this room seems to connect up to that and then go out that way. Like that's what I'm. Yes. Okay. Uh, and thirty. Double move. Double move. They call me double move. Double mint gum, baby. No, we're at B, guys. <laughs> It's not where the bomb is planted. Um... <laughs> All right. So now that the torch is in this room, you can see that the ceiling in this place is 20 feet high. The webbing uh, continues with thick strands over your head through the small passage, and then it is covering the ceiling of this cave. Almost, uh, you, you can see the light shining through it. It's almost like a drop ceiling made out of webbing <laughs> um your passive perception is 13 mm -hmm. so you can see thanks to the uh illumination of the light you can see hundreds and hundreds of tiny spider bodies up in the webbing do they look alive they uh, definitely look yeah, alive they but they uh, seem to just be like spider sitting in a web you know you yeah. see it yeah they seem to be just doing that I uh I warn everybody and put my hands out and say, be careful in this room. There are tons of spiders up there. Uh, is that it for Furby? That's going to be it. Doran. Uh, I'm going to just catch up with Squid Odd here. Uh, uh, I'm going to move here and live my life. Squad up. Just stay with the light, stay with the team. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Um, on my short-term memory, what the hell was that blue ball? Did it, was I in that previous room? I just kind of thought more about it. Is it any, uh, was there anything special? Uh, scenery that gotcha. is not nothing. Okay. Map scenery that is not involved in this campaign. Um. The orb of is kill the all is the web? How can um, wood webbing catch on fire? I'm wondering to myself. Roll an H <laughs> You're gonna burn all of the boars in the bear. <laughs> Five. Uh, uh, maybe. Okay. <laughs> most things, most <laughs> things catch on fire. I'm assuming. <laughs> Does that count as my action, Steve? Or no, that's just general okay. knowledge. Double move. Five, ten. I mean, regular spider webs, sure. You don't know about giant spider webs. These seem pretty thick and kind of viscous with some. Ugh. Ooh, okay. thick baby. Is uh, is, it, is, is it this? Ropey? Is this regular, regular difficulty? Uh, yes, terrain? yes. After after you pass this uh, line of the stairs, yeah, it's regular terrain. Fifteen, five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty, forty, and yeah i guess um now that i've moved further in i'm gonna burn another divine sense uh, sure. you still do not detect it's the same thing as before okay roger that wait till we're in a cemetery then start popping those like a mom like pop the tears. turn undead is that is that the paladin thing right that makes everyone that's undead run away that's I don't a know. cleric thing but oh. You worry about your damn Might. druid, I'll worry about my paladin. How Brit's about turn. that? I whisper to Doran. <laughs> why Ooh. why are we here again? We are looking for <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for the missing fighter girl. 
Oh yeah, by the way, in your journal, you should see the covenant notice board. There's that. Oh yeah, I had that up. Yeah. Okay. Keep that just up, baby. Making uh, sure it was journal? for a just cause. Yeah. Okay, some lady got it. Okay. He is a fighter. Man, you are her. messed oh. up. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> Elizabeth Yeoman. Yeoman. They see me yeoman. Um. Okay. Uh, un unrelated to Olna's uh, quest and query, the query mm -hmm. into the the web. Query into the quest. Because I had the thought, <laughs> quest query, because I had the thought earlier about the, the flames and the spiders and they didn't seem to react. Um, I also want to know about flammability of these webs. So. Roll a nature check. We're going to just, we're going to, we're going to kill this nature check is what we're going to do. Oh, attack your nature check. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. Probably. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Irby. Oh, uh, perceiving that Olna is safe and nothing is attacked. I, I, oh, I want to look up uh, and at the spiders in the web. And is there any portions of this pathway that doesn't seem to have like spiders right above it? Or is it like just filled like a ball? It's, like it's a ball pretty, it's pretty, pretty filled. <laughs> Pretty filled up. We're gonna have a spider birthday party. Get confetti. You can't see any <laughs> one area that looks, you know, particularly uh, different. On a on a Furby Druid whim, I want to uh, walk the exact path that Ulna did, <laughs> uh, and then stay here. Doran, uh, sorry. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Mm -hmm. Someone's gonna shower spiders. That gets a, their job. <laughs> shower of spiders. Uh, as you go into there Murphy. and there, you see uh, at oh, the edge of your torch light here, there is a very, very dense wall constructed of spider webs. Mm. All stretched across this uh, this sloping pathway. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Um, uh, Doran, your turn. So there's a wall of web, huh? <laughs> web wow. Okay. I don't want to fuck with it. I want to <laughs> try to get. We gotta find this girl, man. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just keep letting on the lead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Keep my eyes out for anything. Keep an eyes on these these spiders from above, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking move like here. I'm gonna be on the edge, on the edge. Oh, um, edge lumber. Yeah, baby. Uh, okay, Olna. Um, yeah, I'm gonna move up to the. If I don't see any any particularly human sized carcasses wrapped up anywhere, I'm I'm going to move to the um. The web wall, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. And uh, I have a sickle. Keep in, keep I'm in going, mind. I know, Terrible I know. Said. Look, Things just because a thing, a thing can happen doesn't mean it will. I'm going to, I would like to delicately cut a slit into the web wall. Let us get through the room first. Uh, Olna. I guess, yeah, I'll hold action until I got my crew with me. But that's what I'm going to do eventually. Unless okay. somebody has a better, uh, I don't know what it would, what skill I, that would take, but that's the I, goal. I just don't want to be under the spiders when you start messing with the web. Uh, I got to take my dog pee pee. Sorry. I'll be back. Cool. In the meantime, Britt. I move. Mm -hmm. We're still half speed in this Not room. anymore. Okay. I would like to light a torch, being very careful not to touch the webbing at this point. All right. Britt lights a torch of her own. <laughs> if I can figure out how to do that.
Whoa. There you go. Oh, you did it for me. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so you moved and you took an action. So now it's Furby. Uh, with the Brit having the torch, I'd leave my torch here and put my shield out. <laughs> <laughs> so that can stay there. Uh, move these out. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to gingerly move over to here. 10, 15, 20, 25, behind my friend Ola. And I'm going to cast a spell for giggles. A snare. I use any piece of rope. I create a circle within five feet of me, so I'm going to put it uh, here. There is a magic trap now on that floor. Uh, nearly invisible and requires a successful investigation check. It's my spell to see it. it Anything that's small, medium, or large moves into the ground, it gets uh, snared and must make a dexterity saving throw. And it's hoisted in the air upside down. So, right there? Yep, yep, yep. That is now a magic trap. All right. For the next eight hours, that boy's there. <laughs> <laughs> And then I just tell, come on, guys, get on this out. side. Are there still spiders above us right here? Uh, they're everywhere. everywhere. Oh. All right, burning spell slots like it's the job. There you are. Uh, so that's Furby. Next is Doran. Um, cray cray in the pay pay with the hey hey. <laughs> I'm going to move kind of a little bit ahead of these pile of rocks. What you is... can move the full thirty now. I know, okay. but I want to stay within the vicinity of you guys. I don't want to. I don't want to go too far and like fuck us up. Um, and I kind of want to stay on the outskirts and kill anything that falls behind us or in between us. Um. We're looking for this girl. Is there? Uh, no, there's no, there's no smart way to word that. Never mind. I'm not gonna do anything. <laughs> all right, and we are I'm waiting on Olna to get well, Olna back. Olna is delaying action until we're all on this side, so we could technically roll around the horn again. Uh, technically, yeah, but. We're not here for technicalities. Bud. We're here to play the game as a team. Did everybody see me Bud. put the snare down? Don't walk in the snare, please. I don't know. <laughs> oh, thank you. I might have stepped right into that. Yeah, I don't think I have control over it, it, who it hits. <laughs> but it... Everybody, I am putting a snare down here. It's an invisible magic trap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Everybody roll a perception check. Perception, Seption. What's your. Yeah. Deception. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Uh, perception. Find it. I'm out of here, dude. <laughs> 14. Uh, yeah. Thanks to, uh, Britt and Furby. You can see, in addition to the hundreds of regular sized spiders. Uh oh. Uh, you can see in particular some, some big boys forms. Is one of them a girl? <laughs> uh, barnacles. <laughs> Damn, it's like Battleship. Is one of them Sandy Cheeks? I guessed. <laughs> you can see some forms of uh, larger spiders in addition oh. to the hundreds of regular sized spiders. Yeah, and just sitting as if it's a, you know, like you walk out on the trail, you see a spider sitting in a web. It just looks like they're doing that. But they're bigger. Are they furry? Put, just, they got hair oh, on their legs. Anyone got crates on fire? You can only see, you can only see the, because you're shining the light through their translucent webbing, so you can just see the, the outlines of them. Okay. Tarantulas are easier to deal with. Than any oh, excuse kind of me, what was that spider. animal called? A tarantula. Okay. 
Or tarantula. 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 Them ding tarantulas. <laughs> Those bandicoots are jorbs. Careful, get you. Already got me. Just be glad it's not a wolverine. Uh. Or a sun spider. Have y'all ever met a sun spider? Yeah. Is it as big as the sun? It is. They they range in size. They can be about the size like. Uh, span the length of your palm. And it's kind of like a scorpion without a tail. Mm. And they're um, aggressive. A scorpion with eight tails. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, that's a yeah. nightmare fuel. A, a spider with nothing but his legs are all scorpion tails. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in your horror video game. Oh, really? God. It's a survival horror game. There you go. Tails crawling your, on the ground. That's your pyramid head. It's going to endure. Mm. A little bit of a desert person knowledge. You can go out into the desert with a black light and scorpions will glow like they're at a rave. <laughs> cool. It's pretty fun. I want to, you're saying I want to find scorpions? <laughs> yeah, it's I pretty fun yeah. until you see that yeah. you're surrounded on all sides by millions of scorpions. My only scorpion. True, it is surprising how prevalent they are. <laughs> Uh, my first week living in Arizona, uh, I was warned about scorpions, like check your shoes before you put them on and stuff. It was just a thing. And it was like the first week I was there, I actually hadn't gotten my bed yet. I was sleeping on uh, a little like futon couch I had and I was just laying on it, you know, pillow propped up on one side. And I was like doing that thing middle of the night, you know, had my cell phone as the only light. And I was like scrolling through, you know, whatever I was reading. And uh, between where my phone was and my head laying down and my shoulder, a little scorpion just walked on the cushion that I'm laying on. And just like looked at me, and I and I was done. I almost burnt the whole house to the ground. I was like, weird. <laughs> I caught it eventually, and I put it in a little container. And I was like, nope, there, no one should live here. No one should ever live here. This is not a place for yeah. humans. That's that's me with spiders, man. Yeah. As soon as I see a spider, I'm just like, guess okay. we gotta move. <laughs> well, <laughs> do a, a quick uh, Google of a sun spider. Nope. I've had those in my bed, and they have bitten me in my bed. Well. That's what you get for leaving California. Yeah, that, those, those, think... these are from the no, video no, no, game. No, no, no. That would happen in California. Nope, never happened in California. Doesn't happen in California. Wouldn't <laughs> even be an issue if you hadn't left California. There you go. I think I, I, think I was watching something about yep. otters today and learned how, how fucking gangbangers they are. <laughs> oh, they're generally harmless to humans, but they look River or No, no. Otters. O otters will just go after fucking anything, dog, if they feel like waiting. it. It's, 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 on a, it's a whim. It's just a... It's a Tuesday, and they like gang gang. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tuesday. Uh, it's oh, Ulna's see, turn. Ulna, because uh, Britt and uh, Furby rolled well on their perception checks, they see the silhouettes of a couple of particularly large spiders amidst the hundreds of regular-sized spiders. In the ceiling or on the floor? Ceiling. Sitting in the, the webs. webs. Hanging out, silhouettes. Uh, yeah, I'd like to. Uh, does any, does someone have a? Do, is any of you more dexterous than me by chance? Because I'm not very dexterous. No. Not here. Mm. Looking at you, Doran. Sure. Because <laughs> I could try to cut this web delicately, but I, like I said, I admit that I'm not so oh, dexterous. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'll, I'll, I'll take heed. So yeah, I'm going to step off. Step off, yo. And insist that Doran, with his delicate touch, give a my, delicate my cut. years of mastering the marshals. <laughs> All right. That's not right. my turn. Okay. Um, I'm just going to carefully move. Oh, oh boy. And All right. I'm just going to be ready. I'd like to prepare myself for something to happen. But just so you're actually stand... going to ready action? Ready action. But I'm just so. going to stand here very quietly. So you have to set your trigger. When X happens, you do Y. What are your X and Y? If a spider realizes we're here, and decides to attack, um, I will unarmed strike it. Uh, so that sounds like if a spider attacks you, you will attack it? Yep. 
Okay. If the spider attacks you, you will attack it. Furby is up. Um, now that we're all over here, I mean... Do I, I want to see if there's any way, I'm looking at the wall of the web, like any, any way there's like a weakness or some way to get around it without disturbing it or cutting it? It appears that uh, the answer would be no. Okay. Uh, are you guys ready to possibly reap the ben the rewards of what happens if we disturb this web? I'm ready to save a girl at all costs. Uh, do we want to let Doran do it? And I'll just, yeah, I'm going to step out the way. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to ready a uh, cantrip chill touch for any spider that touches the floor. What's the range of chill touch? 120 feet. It's the right. vision, though, so I don't, I mean. Nice. Doran is up. All right. I'm going to move. Wait, hold on. How far is that? Can I get there in one day? I can get there in one day. Um, I'm going to get here. I am in I'm a southern martial artist. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm going to just go for it, man. Going All for right. it. I'm going to I'm going to like take a second to ready myself and then I'm going to cut the web. Doran cuts the web and as the sword makes an incision into the fibrous mm -hmm, sticky mm -hmm. fibers uh one particularly thick web snaps and sends a ripple throughout the rest of the net system <laughs> and the spiders <laughs> all begin to move and several of the spiders drop down from the webs and enter into combat Stand by as I add their turns. Yay. We could have saved the animals. We still can. Oh, that was a 10. So what happens is the large spiders drop down to the floor and the regular sized spiders all begin to coalesce into swarms of spiders, which also drop to the ground. And then take the form of large spiders. <laughs> Hundreds of large spiders. Fills the room like flubber. So it's a large spider made up of hundreds it's of little three tiny spiders creatures. in the trench coat <laughs> okay so the readied actions can happen now so well the readied actions are brit if a spider attacks you you will attack back a spider has not attacked you yet furby you said if a spider hits the floor you'll cast chill touch mm -hmm. uh, and a spider has snare. dropped onto your snare which triggers the creature must succeed on a dex saving throw that creature rolled a critical fail on the deck saving throw. Hey, hoisted by so your own legs. It is uh, ensnared, which will be this icon. Three feet above the ground. Restrained there until the spell ends. Restrained means it. it can do... Speed becomes zero. Attacks have advantage against it. Its attacks have disadvantage and disadvantage on deck saves. Cool. Uh, so that was that. So, Furby, you can choose a spider to hit with your chill touch. This trip. guy, this guy, this guy. Sure. Chill touch. Uh, boom. Please work. Ghostly skeletal hand in the space of the creature and then range. Make a ranged attack, which is 24 Do to hit. Do you wish to kill this spider? I crush it with my chill touch hand. You kill the spider. It freezes instantly. Seven necrotic damage. Oh, necrotic. It's deceptive chill touch. Mm. Uh, yeah, it just withers and shrivels and becomes dried up like a spider that has left in your windowsill for two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah. 
So that's that. And now is the official actual top of the round. So we're going to the top of the round with the swarms. Swarm number one is going to attack Brit. Spider swarm on Brit. Biting Brit. Wow. I need more dice. That's what happens. Uh -oh. 40,000 stuff every morning. <laughs> no, that's some minis. Less about dice and more about minis. Uh, and I need one more. I need one more. I have one more. There it is. All right. Brit. Ooh. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten to hit. That will miss Brit. Uh, however, this swarm. Was there a reaction will... for when a spider attacks? Uh, yes. Yep, Brit, you take is. your action, your ready to action to attack since the spider attacked you. Yep, yep. Uh, here. Here. Oy. That is a hit. Uh, that was an unarmed strike you did? Correct. Okay. Uh, so you strike out with your fist and you hit. You squash one or two spiders. So you definitely kill one or two small spiders, but the swarm in and of itself seems... Uh, not as uh, not as a not as not as heavily damaged as you might have expected. Mm, I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that was Brit, and now the second spider swarm is going to attack Furby. Damn, same roll. Ten to hit. Did not hit. All right, so that was the swarms. Next up is Doran. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Big Doran daddy. Oh, we're doing that? Okay. <laughs> Never again. Um... Disadvantage on your next roll. <laughs> Marden strikes you down. <laughs> uh, There's the ones in front of Ferb. These guys are kind of far out. Um. I'm gonna just shoot my crossbow into the 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 batch of tiny spiders in front of Brit. <laughs> Such a good idea. Hushwa. <laughs> Your arrow passes harmlessly through the shifting mass of spiders. Your bolt. Oh, come on. Oh, bolt. I'm gonna light it on fire or something. <laughs> uh. After uh, Doran, you gonna move anywhere, Doran? Yeah, I'm going to just move closer to, so that Bird doesn't have to keep taking so much guff. Uh, uh, there's nowhere to move. I'm going to just move here, I guess. Swarm, 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 giant spiders. Giant 5, 10, 15, spiders. 20, 25, 30, 35. Going to take a bite at Furby. But, no, I got my candle out. Shit, never mind. I don't have my shield up. That is a Keep it to 19, yourself. 19 to hit Furby. That's going to hit. Does it matter take, at all if my torch is like still sitting right here? Uh, no. Okay. You take three piercing damage. I'll take that. And roll a constitution save. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 18. You take no weight. Half as much on a successful save. You take four poison damage. I don't like this. That was that spider. Ulna. Oh, <clears throat> uh, boxed in, Ulna. You're boxed in. I'm gonna. Um... <laughs> you can move through us. Turn my candle. Oh wow, off. you're really boxed in. I just saw the swarms. Again, there it is. Quit my shield. Whoop, hit a button. And then do what I can. I'm going to attack can. the... You can throw a trident. Just uh, saying. Mm. But you are able to attack the swarm, should you so desire. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to 
attack the swarm as I so desire. Damn. Mm. Your trident attempts to pierce any of the spiders, but they all just swarm and wrap around it. Uh, swarm, 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 swarm. Swarm, swarm. Swarm. Stop. <laughs> Spider swarm. <laughs> <laughs> After Ulna are these guys. So this guy is restrained, yep. but it can still make an attack with disadvantage. And say bad uh, things about your mom. <laughs> so, yeah. It's going to make an attack with disadvantage against whom? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit me! Uh, Furby! <laughs> make an attack against Furby. But it's going to have to do a with disadvantage because of protection. As such, that's going to miss. It already has disadvantage. Oh, yeah. It, it did already have disadvantage, so you don't oh, have to burn that right now. So, uh, missed on that one. And then this one. So, this thing is three feet in the air, yeah? Yeah. Three feet in the air. These things, these things are... <clears throat> they're bigger than regular spiders, but they're still tiny. So, it's going to move underneath that one. Mm-hmm. Two spiders in one square. Uh, it's going to attack. A reaction. Do I have my reaction still? I think I only did my normal action last turn. Yeah, I still have reaction. I'm doing my Halo of Spore thing. When a creature moves within 10 feet of you? Yep, I use reaction to do a D4 and necrotic damage on it. Uh, uh, is it a save? I don't. Uh, it's against my spell save DC. Yeah, so. Uh, uh, what? Dex con? Oh, con, wisdom. sorry, yeah. Con, it rolled a five. So it takes 1d4. Necrotic damage. Uh, do you wish to kill this spider? Oh. No, it's dead outright. <laughs> yeah, outright it had dead. one health? What? <laughs> oh, <it> did it. <laughs> cool. Nice work. Uh, um, I don't even control the bugs. They just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Furby uh, up for sure. Oh, no, it's Brit, right? Yep. Um, I would like to slowly or quickly, but then hold it there. My torch against the webs. You hold your torch against the webs, and fire catches to the webs and begins to spread <gasps> up and over your head. And throughout the whole cave. Now we can say bye golf. to the animals. I say a son of a, son of a bee. <laughs> Kirby's eyes go extremely large. <laughs> Turns into a Michael Bay film. <laughs> oh yeah, six seconds. Uh, the web, the, the 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 entire web wall catches fire, and it begins to circle up and overhead, spreading through the rest of the room. Oh uh, yeah, you gonna move? You gonna move anywhere, Britt? Uh, gonna hold my ground. All right, Furby. Uh, so the spider that's restrained, can I pass through it since it's tiny and it's up in the air? Uh, I will allow it. Uh, Furby allow wants to make it. a mad dash to the animals. <laughs> oh, hold the phone. Hold the telephone. Mm-hmm. Where is this? Telephone on hold. Uh, so I can, you said I can move through the, the, the tiny spider? That's yes. Fine. You will, if you leave range, take opportunity attacks. But if I use my racial furblog spell, Hidden Step, I can, as a bonus action, magically turn invisible until the start of my next turn or until I attack, make damage roll, or force someone to make a saving throw. Uh-huh. What magic motion? So long. Uh, uh, Furby goes... So invisible creatures uh, can still attack you, but they have disadvantage in all the rolls. Oh, that's potatoes. Okay, well, uh, Furby's going to... And then uh, <laughs> try to try to run out. So, All right, so you're, you're gonna take a opportunity attack from, from the swarm. From would we'll you yeah, swarm we'll, first? Because I just we'll left swarm. Your, okay, so swarm first. That's that's gonna miss. Okay, and then uh, if I step here, um, that's one from the restrained that's disadvantage spider. The big oh, spider and the restrained one. So the restrained spider. That's going to be a miss. And the big spider 
N plus 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 three thirteen. That matches my AC. Then that will hit. You take four piercing damage. I'm I'm now I'm now by <laughs> wait, hold on. Until you take damage, make a damage roll or first someone. Oh no, I'm still invisible. And roll a constitution saving throw. Uh, this is how Kirby dies. <laughs> Was that three damage or four? Ten constitution saving throw. You take constitution saving throw. Ooh. That is a failure. Yeah, you take ten poison damage. Okay, oh. Kirby is out. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Furby falls. You hear, you hear some footsteps, and you see spiders, uh, the hair bristling on the fuzzy legs of the spiders, and so they lash out at whatever's passing them. And one of them makes contact with Furby, and then you hear the steps slow down. <laughs> and then, so what? Yeah, am I still invisible if I drop? <laughs> yeah. Until you attack, make a damage roll, or force someone to make a saving throw, yeah, and, or until your next turn. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, yeah, I just popped out of existence and then fell over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how that goes. That's why magic is dumb, kids. <laughs> Learn how to do things with your own it's goddamn a Rachel hands. Thing. It's the power inside of you. Uh, it's 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 got to disengage if you're unconscious. Yeah, it's going to disengage when you're unconscious. So you're visible, but you're prone and unconscious. Uh, so yeah, that was Furby. Swarm number one is going to attack, uh, Barret. Swarm. That's the one spell I hasn't used yet. <laughs> it's a ten to hit. Yeah, miss. Swarm number two is going to move up. And it's going to attack Olna. 16 to hit. Miss. Oh, yeah, you took your shield out, didn't you? Mm -hmm. uh, this is Swarm's Doran. All right. Um, I don't know, man. I'm going to just start hacking at this swarm of spiders, I guess. Do it. There's nothing else I can do. I'm going to use a two-handed slash. Yep. Uh, you strike, and your slash slashes up a number of the little spiders. But uh, it is a formless mass, so your strike isn't as effective as you might have hoped it would be. No, I knew. Let's see. I knew. All right, anything? No, there's nothing else I can do, really. Well, actually, you know what? You know what? Fuck it. I'll use... No. No. You almost got me. <laughs> uh, next up is this guy. This guy is going to move over here. And take a chomp at Olna. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Olna. Nope, that's a d12, not a d20. 20. 14 to hit. Yes. Good old paladins. After that is Olna. Uh, I'm going to keep striking at the swarm with my one arm trident, one hand trident attack. Damn. Ooh, does not make purchase that time. Anything else? No, that's going to be it. Spider number two is restrained and going to make a attack with disadvantage on Doran. Come at me, bitch. A miss. Protection. On oh. Doran. It already had disadvantage. Brit oh, gotcha. is up. I thrust now that I am mad with a little fire rage. I thrust the torch into the swarm of spiders in front of me. So a torch will functionally function as a club, uh, which is basically the same as your sickle, just with different damage. So just roll a sickle attack to see if you hit. Mm -hmm, but with fire! Oh, crit wow, nice. a critical torch attack. Wow. Uh, so, yes, the torch uh, sears and burns many of the spiders, and you hear a very satisfying amount of them pop like popcorn. Mm, but what's it smell like? 
Mm. Smells uh, like just smells just like carbon, just like carbon burning. Carbon smells like a silly putty, you know. So you do nine <laughs> damage. And you roll a crit, so roll a d100, please. Okay. Seventy-seven. No, if you'd rolled one more seven, you would have done a bunch of damage. No. Seventy-seven. Oh. Your target is knocked prone. However, these guys are immune. Yeah, they're immune to the prone condition, so we'll just say you have advantage on your next attack. Okay. Uh, red for advantage. Eat fire! So yeah, that was your single attack. Um, I would like to do the bonus. And I'd like to punch them while they're down. Roll an arm strike. And on fire. <laughs> that is a hit. And you do... Another punch. You smash one spider. <laughs> Squish. Anything else? That is it. Ah. All right. Next up is Furby. Roll a death saving throw. Death saving throw. Furby. Yeah, 11. Right, you're one step closer to not being dead. Swarms are up. This swarm is going to attack Brit. It has disadvantage on its attack thanks to your crit. So Brit. Oh, a critical fail. Jeez, just rolling. <laughs> right. Uh rolling critical fail for 43. What happens on 43? 43. You miss an attack and gaze upon the chaos of battle, causing your confidence to falter. Disadvantage on your next attack roll. All right. Well, just keep it on the disadvantage train for that one. Uh, this one is going to choose between Doran and Ulna. One is Doran. At two. Me. Ulna. Two. Ulna. Ulna. You're getting swarmed with a 17 to hit. Jeez. Mm, just a near miss. Yeah. This guy's no hard paladin. to hit you. Hard to hit you. That's the point. Next up is Doran. I'm going to just do the same thing. I'm going to just swing into this mass of, of garbage. Oh, not today. Your strike passes as though it goes through empty air as the spiders oh, swarm Lord. around. Anything else? No. Big spider is going to attack Ulna. Miss, what do you know? <laughs> Next up, Ulna. Uh, yeah, same thing. I'm going to attack the swarm in front of me with uh, one arm pierce. Please. Fuck! Nope. Not Man. today, Ulna. Anything else? No. This spider that is still restrained is going to choose between Doran or Brit. Brit! Let's go! Brit has disadvantage. It's going to attack Brit. It's miss on Brit because the disadvantage is everywhere. Next up, Brit. I hold the fire next to my eyes so the spiders can see the glint <laughs> of madness. <laughs> And I bring out my sickle with my other arm, and I swing it as expertly as possible on the swarm <laughs> that has disadvantage. So you're swinging your sickle? Yes. And I think I had sickle. advantage on this one, right? I think so. uh, no, you did not. The swarm had oh. disadvantage, but you had normal roll. So Never roll that I... again. Roll that again. We're doing it. Dis D disengage the advantage and roll that again. Still a hit. Uh, your sickle passes mostly through the swarm. Again, not doing as much damage as you uh, would have hoped, but still a hit. All right. I'm going to then punch at them. Uh, you are holding a torch and a sickle. You would have to kick. Oh, I will kick at them then. Um, or stomp. Could I say I stomp? Oh, it's with your foot. Roll it. All right. That is a miss. <laughs> this boot is heavy. Uh, Anything else, Brit? Nope. I'm going to stay the course here. Kirby, roll a death saving throw. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Oh, 
rounds of five? You are one step closer to death. Uh, I spit out some blood. Oh, bah. damn it. Swarm is going to attack Brit. Oh, that's a hit on Brit. That is a 18 to hit. You hit. Ooh, let's see. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight piercing damage. Jeez. Okay. Uh, sorry. Take half of that. Four piercing damage. Because the swarm is about half the size as it was at the start of this battle. Great. Swarm number two, however, is still at full capacity. It's going to attack who? Ulna or Doran? Ulna. That is a miss. What do you know? Doran, your turn. I'm going to keep attacking this, uh, this swarm because there's nothing else for me to do. Wait, am I attacking that guy? Uh, there might be another one after that, but take that first one. <laughs> that is a hit with your sword again. Doing. Well, what was that for? He just rolled it twice. The first one was four, five, six slashing damage. Not quite as effective as you would have hoped. No. I want to go after that big spider, but there's no way I can. I, gotta, I would have to run through these small spiders, and I ain't doing that. All so right. I'm a verbal. Next up. Hey, don't. We're not averbing my name right now. This is part. the big guy. Uh, this is against Ulna. Wolf spider. Ulna. Miss on Ulna. Next up, Ulna. I'm going to go again. One-handed strike against the swarm in front of me. Oh, and man. you hit with your trident. Pop in a couple of the spiders with the tips of your spear somehow, thrusting it against the ground. Uh, not as effective as you would have hoped, but does a little bit of damage. Anything else? Um, I, can I pass through them? Uh, you can pass and through the swarm. What about the snared guy? Uh, I will allow it, yes. Mm, so let's go here. All right. And can I just, I'm just going to exist underneath it because <laughs> I don't want to necessarily get opportunity attack, but this is where I'm at. <laughs> All right. It's turn, the spider that is uh, now dangling around your head. Fighting <laughs> <laughs> at you with restraint. That is a miss. Ah, that snare was genius. Rip. Seeing that my sickle did less damage than I would hope, I go back to the torch. All right. So. <laughs> Most damage. Oh. Most damage. He, uh, that was, the torch was just like an unarmed. Was that right? Uh, no, it's the same as the sickle. Same as the sickle. Okay. Okay. I put away the sickle. So now I have a free hand and a torch, and I I torch him again. Does it do it? There she is. Took a second. That is a hit for three full damage. I swing it at them. Um, then I use my other fist that is now free, and I try to smash him. Unarmed strike. That does that does make purchase. Wow, I saw. I thought it was a six, but yep, yeah. that hits for another uh, piddling amount of damage with your fist. Smash one or two spiders. Just sort of wildly flailing at this group of spiders. And Furby, death save. Here goes, guys. Oh, uh, ten. Nice. Uh, one step closer to not dying. Oh, okay. Swarm <laughs> once again is going to attack Brit. At half strength. Uh, swarm, 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 swarm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's a miss on Brit. What do you know? Second swarm. What are you at? Second swarm. 
Second Swarm is also at half strength. Uh, it's going to go against Doran. Come at me. Protection. Protection. That's a miss on Doran. You couldn't hit me even without it. After the swarms is Doran. Wait, is this one in the snare still alive? Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, Crawling on all the hits. Oh. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna just keep attacking the. <laughs> nice. Yes. Hmm. The little, the little bitties. Not today, oh, you won't. No. I'm gonna That's go sit in the corner. Doran. Next up is a big spider. Who will take an opportunity attack from Olna? Actually, you used your reaction to protect Doran, so yeah. your reaction is spent. So you will not make an opportunity attack. Doran is getting attacked by the giant wolf spider. Come at me, Doran. Spread that damage out. That is a 21 to hit. No, Take that's a hit. <laughs> five, five piercing damage. Okay. And then make a constitution saving throw. And then you say constitution saver. You pass the saves. You will take half of this damage. Half of ten is five. Five poison damage. Another five. And next is Olna. I'm going to provoke an opportunity attack from the swarm behind me. Ooh. That's a 19 to hit. That's a hit. Three piercing damage. And then I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on Furby. my good friend, Furby. <laughs> That's for three. And Ooh. Ooh. Bummer Cure Wounds. <laughs> Better than zero. <laughs> All right. I'm... Uh... <laughs> Where's the fire? Oh, yeah. Fire has spread overhead. <laughs> you freaking butts. <laughs> <laughs> the fire is spread all throughout the ceiling. Uh, Smoke is beginning to fill the room. Uh, that's the end of my turn. Spider that is restrained is going to attack. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I reaction attack? Doran, no. Yes. Uh, Doran is getting attacked. Come at me. With disadvantage. <laughs> Critic Whoa! Snake eyes on the twenties. Jeez. Alright. Uh critical fail on that. It rolled a one nope, that's a four. Well a four on its critical fail. You lose combat footing, exposing yourself to your target. Your target has advantage on the first attack roll against you next round. So Doran, you have advantage on this spider here. Uh, okay, the one in the snare. Yep. Okay. Uh, that was that. Brit is up. We're gonna go with what's been working, and we're gonna thrust this torch right back into them. So he, oh, this guy here. Spider swarm. Invincible uh, spider swarm. That will hit. Do you wish? Do you wish to kill the spider swarm? Oh, nice. I do. I you squash it. With you my don't have torch. a choice. Spider swarms are a, a bunch of creatures, and when you reduce to zero hit points, you effectively kill the last of the small creatures. So you don't have a choice. Great. I'd like to melt them, burn them. So yep, you so you burn up the last of the spiders of that swarm. So with fire raging overhead and dead spiders at my back, uh, I'd like to take an unarmed strike at the ensnared spider. Mm -hmm. uh, 
That is a hit. Do you wish to kill this spider? I do. You punch the spider from its magically ensnared position, and it flies across the room. Ah! And expires. Gets a little bit too into this. (laughs) Uh, You gonna move anywhere? I'm gonna stay right here. Furby, back in the game. You know what I want to do, and it's dangerous, and I'm gonna die and lose my character forever. <laughs> See you on the other What's side. What's the situation look like in regards to the smoke? I mean, where's the fire at? What's the, how... the smoke is beginning to pool in the ceiling, mm-hmm. uh, and you can see that the fire has spread to about here. Um, God, I want I want to try to cut the the web, right? Like, but I'm not gonna get that far. Hmm. What do I got in this old repertoire? <laughs> Jump speed, no, no, there's <laughs> not anything I can do. Hold on, what's this do? Put your own mask on before others. <laughs> we on a delta plate? Uh, put your own mask on for yeah. I'll, uh, I'm going to cure wounds on myself. Uh, cure wounds on self. You had to have Steve tell you that? No, I know. I just <laughs> I, 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 limiting what I can also do at this point. It's going to spread. Okay, yeah, cure wounds. Level one. Eight. Okay, that's fine. That'll work. Fucking proud of you. <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> Keep it staying in the fight. You going to move anywhere? Yeah, of course you are. Uh, after that is Swarm. The last of the Swarm is going to attack Doran. Come at me. <laughs> God damn, critical fail again. Yeah, you can't because you're fucking weak. <laughs> Your mind's weak. Your brain's weak. Everything about you is weak. Wow. A 100. I just rolled a 100 on the critical fail. What is with my dice today? <laughs> uh, you lose your footing while attacking and slam your head into the ground. You fall prone, take 3d6 damage, and become unconscious for one minute or until you receive damage from any source. Whoa. This is a spider swarm, so it will not... Uh, They're dead! It's, it's, it's gonna have it's gonna have a chunk of burning web fall on it and do 3d6 fire damage to it. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> this could have happened to any one of you, too. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fire damage engulfs these uh, spiders, and they mm-hmm. incinerate. They burn up completely under this Bye, chunk of web. <laughs> Popcorn oh, starts popping. Pop, 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 pop. Doran, your turn. Nasty. Um, so it's just the spider to my all right. Correct. Right. All right. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a moment of of unhinged concentration and then i'm gonna i'm gonna unsheath my sword and attack and is a hit hell yeah uh, seven slashing damage anything else for doran oh yeah and i'm gonna just uh turn and attack again uh, with what? Wait, did I, I didn't use my... Oh, I did. Use yeah. your action surge last encounter. Okay, never mind. Ignore that. <laughs> I did, I did. You do still have a second wind. No, but I'm going to use that for something else. Yeah, I'm going to use that for All right. Uh, in that case, it's the spider's turn attacking Doran. Come hither. 13 to hit. After those is Ulna. All right. And uh, one armed, one handed trident uh, poke on this wolf spider. Oh, not <sighs> today, Ulna. Just not, not having it with the trident so much on the spiders. Good attempt, though. Good attempt. Anything else? Uh, I'm got my shield ready to help out my homeboy. The spiders are case. dead. Brit is up. Okay. 
still fueled by a sense of power. Torch power. Torch power. <laughs> um, there's a bit of madness that's taken over her. She just just rushes over here and just just throws that torch at the face of this spider. Uh, she looks a little unhinged, I would say. Uh, are you actually throwing the torch out of your hand? Nope, just smashing it down. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, you wouldn't be able to that critical fail. Please roll a d100. I will indeed. Here goes the other Achilles. <laughs> <laughs> 22. You lose your balance while attacking. You fall prone and your movement is reduced to zero. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Can I still um, take a swing? Uh, you can I, like, can take... take a swing from the prone position because you can't stand up, but you have disadvantage if you make an unarmed strike. Uh, okay, so I'll take disadvantage, but give it that strike. I'm just I'm going for it. Wow. Big one. Yeah, that oh, hits. Yeah. Hmm. Five damage. Do you wish to kill the spider? <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I Ooh. Can it be with my foot, too? And I just, like, smash my boot into his face? Absolutely. Oh, oh your barely attached foot goes <laughs> into it. <laughs> you have killed all the spiders in this spider cave. Jimmy. Uh, the fire continues to spread overhead. Yeah. Uh, mm hmm. What about backwards into the cave, the hole we opened up? Is the fire you going can in there? See that the webbing is past past the web wall. It seems like there was no webbing connected uh, to that web wall. Okay, then I'm gonna so go. It does not does not spread into the further cave. I would like to go over with Furby, join Furby, and try to free the animals before they get roasty toasted. All right. Uh, so Britt just went Furby's turn. Yep, where's the fire at? It's beginning to spread into the previous cave. We'll say uh, at the top of. So yeah, if 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 one, two, three, four, five. If you don't free the black bear, the fire is going to spread into the black bear's space. Uh, looking up though, I wanted to see is so this is probably one short like uh, like thin layer of the, the the web that it's 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 now spreading through. Is, is there a possibility that I could try to cut that so that it stops spreading this direction? Um, it is, no, okay. there's no possibility of you cutting enough to right. stop it spread because it'll just go around that cut and swoop around. I would like to help the black bear out. Roll a strength check. Uh, one willing creature. Okay, sorry. Let's talk about there's a cantrip I got. Uh, strength check, straight up and down. Boom. Oh, 21. Yeah. You free the bear from its uh, clutches. I, I, and I, I, I try as to, I, its immediate reaction, it's going to run in fear from the fire. Help the boar friends! The help your boar friends! Does not care <laughs> about anything me. except itself. You don't know what I'm like that! <laughs> okay. Typical that bear. was my full movement. <laughs> Remember us! Hey, Yogi Dog. Uh, so now the fire is spreading into this room, which has webs on the ground as well. So uh, if you are going to stay in this room, the fire will be on the ground as well. Oh, shit. Next up is Doran. Hey, it's your best friend. Um, all the spiders are dead. They're Doran, in... uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. roll. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. What we'll do, we'll do it next round. Next round. You're, You're good. Um, Ooh. Um, I am an American. I'm going to pop that heal potion I got. 2d4 plus 2. 2 dose. Saki's D4. Two. And you said plus two? Yep. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Better than zero. Oh. So was it actually just uh, fucking mud water? You get four HP. <laughs> 
mud water. Alright, hold on. Let me uh, find my feet. I am at. Ugh, bless me. Um You know what? I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a step down. You have dark vision. So you can okay. see. I'm gonna use half my halfway. I'm gonna go into a halfway house. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. So you can see over to here. Mm. Uh, again, this map just has some scenic elements that aren't actually there. Uh, so all the all the crap on the wall over there isn't actually there. Like, like the spider so. artifact in the floor. <laughs> um, so uh, you see dimly yes. into that area that it is uh, another cave system. You can't see where the ceiling is because uh, this chamber you're in still has a low ceiling. Um, but you can see an, um, it opens up into another more open area there, and you can see a wall at the end here. Okay. You can see a faint glimmer reflected in the firelight of uh, some strands of webbing. Okay. Anything else? Nah, dog. Olna. Uh, yeah, I'm going to move. Uh, double move. Post haste. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. That's the end of my turn. All right. Brit. I'm going to duck down and just bulldoze in here. You're eight light years away from your mic now. I am not anymore. Okay. Uh, okay, so I was here. I'm going to just bulldoze in here. Uh, and here I am. So your torch reveals all this. And I have dark vision, 60 feet dim. Eh, what the hell? You there, you there. Sure. So yes, you can see another cave system. Uh, another, another cave opening with uh, some silvery strands of webbing along the walls. Not nearly as dense as the other areas, but definitely uh, walls covered with spider webs. Anything else? Just that I, I feel a sense of rage that I can't explain. <laughs> and I, I sit here huffing. Furby, speaking of huffing, Furby, roll a constitution save. Yeah. Smoke inhalation. The smoke has not affected you, but the smoke is pooling up in this area. I mean, so how bad is this fire right now? <laughs> Just give me a, a once around the room what I can see. It's a smoky. It is also uh, swooped around and is it's it's particularly bad in this room because this is the room that had the webs everywhere, floor to ceiling, everything. So yeah. you are actually now standing on fire. So please make a dex saving throw. That's a critical Whoa. fail. <laughs> you burn for three points of fire damage. Yeah. Um, Furby ain't dumb, but uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this, is a, this might be a lost cause here. Uh, I don't think we can save these boars. I can just hope for the best for them. Uh, as the last... Hmm. Yeah, I think I think Furby sees the writing on the wall. Uh, can I see the boars through the fire over there? Yes. Um, I think the most thing I would try to do is Furby would would, uh, would try to uh, uh, release the one boar that that at least he fed earlier with by throwing a, a one of my spears, or I guess I have a javelin and a dart and a dagger. <laughs> Just as a latch dish effort, and then I'm gonna uh, book it out. I mean, you you can see obviously it's wrapped up in there. A single thrown weapon is not going to 
you never, enough to you never know. Up. What if it's a crit? <laughs> you might hit the thing. <laughs> I know, put it out of its misery. Uh, That's an option. I mean, Furby just says, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then books it out. Come, come, Ulna. 20, 25, 30. And then I'm going to double move out. Doran, roll a constitution saving throw. Me? Yeah. All right. Breathe in a hefty lung full of smoke. Constitution saving. Oh. Ooh. We're <laughs> in. You breathe in a hefty lung full of smoke and you begin coughing. Uh, you are. It's like when cast vapes. <laughs> vaped in my mind. Get that you, you, you are overcome with a fit of coughing. Your speed is halved and you have disadvantage on your next attack roll. Okay. And you're coughing loudly. Oh no. Everyone's gonna know. Um <laughs> So uh, speed is half half. Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just move up here. Bang! <coughs> I'm here. <laughs> Blowing um, thick clouds, bro. Oh, no. Do, oh, sorry. Yeah. Doran, anything else? Can you just do a perception? Just to uh, you can roll perception with disadvantage because you're in a fit of coughing. With a disadvantage. I work with this, uh, this person. <laughs> oh, damn. You don't notice anything uh, that I have not already described. Okay. Olna is up. Uh, I'd like to double, uh, but oh, go nope. ahead. Constitution saving throw. Oof, oh no, your speed. Oh, wait, you got bonuses. Yeah, you are okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw the dice. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to double back out there. Uh, 9, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Brit is up. I'm going to power through. You see um, here the edge. You see you see a uh, you see a edge of a pit here. A pit. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna double move. As you peer into the pit, oh god, a spider takes its reaction. Oh my god, it's a black widow. A a very large, very uh, grotesque looking spider, very frightening. Uh, lunges out from its pit where it was waiting and attempts to grab you and throw you down. Uh, so, Brit, please roll a oh, grapple every, every single time. Roll an acrobatics check. Wow. Monk, baby! So, the... Uh, Spider attempts to grab you, right? Let me just let me just make sure. Let me just make sure. I always have to check every time. The grab. Grabbing in combat should be an athletics versus Ooh. acrobatics. Athletics contested by acrobatics. Yep. All right. It's actually athletics or dex, but still, it was a monster roll. Yeah, it tries to grab you, but it fails. Uh, and so, it will, it, it lunges up, tries to grab you, but then because it misses, it backs away, down, uh, back into the pit. 
So now you can make an opportunity attack since it's backing away from you. Oh, yeah, that's opportunity attack. She's she's under some sort of spell right now, mentally, um, and she's just <laughs> she just has no regard. Um, so, so uh, can I do either of mine? Uh, just matter. any any melee attack. Okay. Oh. And you miss with your okay. opportunity attack. But as the spider backs into its pit, you can hear it speak. Huh? How dare you come into our lair? You will be devoured by me and the rest of my brood. You cannot stop our tide. It is only a matter of time. I hate well, to break it to you, but I think we got rid of the rest of your brood. Furby is up. Make a constitution saving throw. Oh. Actually, mm, 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 mm. nah, 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 nah. The smoke, the smoke, I mean, the webs burn fast and hot, but uh, they are they don't have too much substance to them. So you're only going to have to take the one constitution save. Uh, so you passed it, so you're good. All right. Britt, I didn't have Britt make a constitution save. Britt, make a constitution save. Okay. Britt's fine. Cool. Furby, keep going. Furby went down. Uh, Furby's going to double move. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All right. Furby's here. Furby's in the room. Uh, Furby is just confirming that Furby has shield out as well as Shirley. <laughs> How long does Shillelagh last? One minute? Okay, I recast Shillelagh as my bonus action. <laughs> um, that was Furby Doran. That's all I tell you. He's all the way over there. There's nothing I can do. So you did not see uh you did not actually see the spider because yeah. it was at the lip of the thing and it just tried to grab brit and pull her in i can see brit yeah. did not come up over the edge nope, and nope, brit nope. brit's just raging out apparently barbarian <laughs> here something's yeah, taking over get you barbara um i'm gonna i'm still at Half the speed, half the man I used to be. Um, I'm gonna move up to here and do nothing. Uh, okay. In that case, it's the brood mother's turn again. <laughs> Our power grows day by day. The coming of the comet will see our pinnacle. You will be reduced to ash against the wind. <laughs> Once again, uh, zips up, tries to grapple Brit. Um, Brit, we can roll either. Her? Yeah, speaking common. Roll either athletics or acrobatics. Your choice. Um... Sixteen acro. Sixteen this, acrobatics. This time it rolls well, and it grabs you and pulls you off the edge of the uh, pit and whoosh, throws it back behind you and you fall into the pit, which is 20 feet down. Oh boy. Uh, are you trained or do you have proficiency in acrobatics? I do. Uh, stand by. Let me just make sure I get this right. Falling. 183, falling. Falling. At the end of a fall, a creature takes that much for every that much. Huh. All right. So you fall 20 feet. So you take 2d6 damage for oh three. Three bludgeoning damage, and you are prone. Okay. Okay. 
And now that you are out of the picture, the brood mother, uh, it went one, two, three, four, five, six. After the broodmother. Oh, no. Yeah, you heard a pretty sinister voice in there. Mm hmm. Um. Okay, yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, I don't know how uh, much Brit, you could do. Brit here. had a torch, but the torch is now in a pit. So effectively rendering the aura ineffective for you mm -hmm. right now. So base pitch black up, up in here. Because uh, Doran didn't have light and Furby didn't have light either, did you? Nope. I mean, Confirm I, I had my shield at. Yeah, <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have it out. I could. Nope. You can no. see you can hand. see you can see a shaft of light coming out from over here. But sure. uh otherwise then with my action, uh, I will probably I'll light a torch and just place it on the ground. I would like to do uh, that. Cool. So you have to put your shield away and then light the torch. You can't take it back out in the same turn. But you can. So if the torch is on the ground, then yeah, this whole area is lit up. We don't have to do the aura thing. Okay. Uh, cool. So that's Ulna. Uh, is that it for Ulna? Yes. Brit, you are in a 20-foot pit. Great. Uh, <laughs> what are the dimensions? And you're four feet. <laughs> okay. Um. So... I imagine that falling that distance um, sort of knocked me out of my madness, my rage. Uh, you tell um, me. I don't know what that was about, but... Oh, uh, <laughs> I can tell you what it's about. Um, I look for a way to get out. So if you stand up, standing up takes half your movement, which is yep, 15. standing up. So, and then to... so the walls the, the walls are just stone walls. The only way out you can see is to climb out. Uh, um, okay. While you are in there, sorry, while you're in there, since you have the torch out, uh, you can see that this seems to be a pit of victims. You can see the bones and half-eaten remains of several animals and one humanoid figure that looks to be wearing armor. Mm. Oh, uh, I would like to approach the armored figure. Uh, you see... If you take your yeah, if if you take your turn to actually examine it, then you'll be able to yeah. see stuff. Uh, if you take your turn, your yeah. action. The figure it looks to be a recently deceased woman who clutches a long sword no. of seemingly fine make. Uh, she's definitely deceased. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, I will. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I take the sword? You may take the sword. I will. Oh God! Yeah. So, uh, with no other time to think, I just take the sword and um, I use whatever remaining movement I have to try to get out of here. All right. Uh, so that was. You can attempt to climb up. You won't be able to make it to the top since you only have half movement. Right. Um, so roll an athletics check. Okay. That is not enough. You are unable to climb the rock face. Well, I'm short, so. Next up is Furby. Uh, Furby seeing the spider uh, is gonna. You can see, yeah, you can see that the outline of a spider, uh, silhouetted on this weird shaft of torchlight coming up from over there. Mm, I thought we had a torch in this room now. Yeah. I oh yeah, you did. Never mind. That's why so you do fully work. seen a spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big spider. Big old, uh, big old spider. I think I'm gonna back behind uh, Doran, and then uh, <laughs> and then use chill touch. Uh, the old CT. The old con trip. Uh, do I do it here? Yeah, do it here. 
Ooh. That's a crit on the spell attack. Dang, a crit and double and perfect attacks, damage. Double crit. Wow. <laughs> What's the record? What's our record? Do we have a record? I think this is it. This, this is, is it right here. I, I would have gotta be. It. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the pin messages on? Uh, no, no. Or Brit did something. Didn't Brit I think have Brit a... took more damage? But I don't know if Brit did more. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably true. Uh, have I? Have we done a record? No. Not for right. not for this set. Not for All this. Right. I'm gonna put it in characters, and I'm gonna put damage record single target single target damage record. Uh, Furby, chill touch versus brood mother. Lispadir. Uh, what is that? Eight and eight is sixteen. Sixteen. Um, your dad's mom. So that was a crit on a spell attack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That rolls a d100 for a spell attack. Alrighty. Boop. Nine to eight. Mother trouble. Damn, rolling Ooh. rocks. <laughs> your spell strikes with debilitating force. Roll an additional set of spell damage dice. Oh. So it's supposed to just wow. be the one d8 though. Yep. Right. Roll another d8. Does it still count as a damage for the single hit? Single yes. Hit? Yes, it does. Oh, Pile it on. Boys. Damn. Seven. Pile it on. That's the 23, 23, baby. Oh, my God. Level 2, Let 23. Let me edit that. Gross. Can't save a <laughs> boar, but he can smite a spider. Use that, that re uh, revenge energy. Mm -hmm. I'm just mm -hmm. thinking about the three Damn. boars that are burning to death re right now. Renergy, as they call it. Crunch. <laughs> Uh, and the target suffers a permanent injury chosen by the DM. One of his legs just pops right One off. of its spider nipples is it's, implodes. It's necrotic damage, so it's going to wither and do something. Can the, 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 the chill touch hand just comes out of the grave and just rips a leg off. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll take that, reducing That's its movement by dope. five. Sure. Reduced movement by five. Permanent injury. You've been britted. <laughs> Where's that? There it is. Break. Oh, one leg, one fewer leg. All right. Anything else, Furby? Uh, nope. Nope. Doran. The right. Spider shrieks as one of its legs withers and shrivels off. I am gonna use my reduce. Am I? Do I uh, should I be taking my rolls with disadvantage still? Uh, the uh, attack rolls. You have yes. Okay. You'll make another. Um, you'll make another con save at the end of your turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move here. Uh, Going to go. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna dash forward, and then I'm gonna do like that. That that cool uh, anime move where I my 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 hand is on my the hilt of my the handle of my sword, and I slice it out, and then and then put it back just as quickly. Uh, that is called an EI in. Kendo. Yeah. Yay! Oh. Oh, 13 to hit? 13 does not hit. Wasted my cool. Yeah, your gold star. Oh That's my true. God, I forgot about those things. Mm-hmm. Wait, what is this gold star? Is that that gold star <laughs> that allows you to, like, add no. a number to your, uh... A uh, attempt. Is it, what was it? One D four, right? Yeah. No, it's just four. Oh. Just. Four. Oh, all right. Yeah, let's use it. You expend the use of the gold star of covenant, and add four to your roll, which transforms your attack into a hit. The enchantment fades on the star. Now it is simply a little gold pin. I toss that at the spider too. So, 13, <laughs> 13 damage. Ouch, says the spider. Anything else for Doran? No, I can't. Uh... You know what? I'm going to use up my second wind. Second wind. Bonus action. With the leg missing and the uh strike of doran slashing her the almost strike of doran like she it. shrieks out in pain and horror no no 
No, I must reach my full power. The comet cometh. You cannot stop the cometh and the rise of darkness. You shall be overrun by the tide. <laughs> my brood will swarm over this land and cover it in death. <laughs> That's not a bad second win for Doran, but she is going to now abite the Doran. Well, I'm back at 16, baby. Uh, Doran, roll a constitution Bite. saving throw. Constitution saving throw, babe. Uh, well, even if you didn't have advantage, uh, both of those, you're fine. You are no longer coughing up a storm. I still have disadvantage, quick. Uh, uh, probably because you were coughing. Yeah. Uh, the spider hits you. Hit me. 17, 17 to hit. It does six, seven, eight, nine. Nine piercing damage. That's fine. And roll another constitution save for me. All right. Oh, wait. All right. Let me do that first. Yeah. You wish you knew who I was, but you don't. And you're still rolling with doubles. Don't roll doubles. Take off the doubles and roll again. Constitution save. Wait. Am I rolling doubles? Yeah. Oh, wait. Where? Huh? Toggle. Normal. Oh, normal. There you go. Uh, you pass the save, so you'll take half of this. You take four. Total of four. Half of eight. Total of four poison damage. So nine. Thirteen total from that attack from her. Good thing you second-winded. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Now I'm hurting. <laughs> Coughing for different reasons. And Olna is up. Um, I think I'm gonna cast command upon the spider, the brood mother. I command and you. That's gonna be against um, uh, wisdom save for it. Wisdom save on the spider. It rolls a. Just a straight eight. What happens on a solid eight? Uh, it does not save. Which means, and I'm going to, I'm going to say halt. So it will, um, doesn't move or, or take actions on its next turn. All right. Or during the next round. Oh, Duration one round. So yeah, for one round, it holds its action. Uh, you going to move anywhere? I can't really do long range damage. See, so yeah, I'm going to move up upon it. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25. And Brit. Uh, I'm going to take my shield out. Brit is up. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my move to try to get out again. Roll an athletics. Yes. Uh, you're no longer prone, so you have your full movement. Yep, you are able to climb at half speed, so that's 20 feet. Uh, 5, 10, 50, so 20, blah, 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 blah. 5, 10, 15, 20. 20. So yeah, you can get there easy. Okay. Uh, and I will make an attack on Broodmother. Using my sickle. Oh, can I use the sword that's in my hand? Uh, you can. Are you proficient in long swords? I am proficient in short swords. Not in a long sword. So you're not proficient. So you can. Uh, it does more damage than your sickle, but it has less of a chance to hit. Okay, no, I'm just going to use my sickle. Uh, she's, I, she doesn't feel confident in that. Um, she's just going to instinctually go for what she knows. And use the sickle on the back end of Broodmother. That is a hit for six slashing damage. I hit her butt. You <laughs> slash out at her spinnerets, and you see some uh, nasty-looking gooey acid spill out and start corroding the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, and then I'm going <laughs> to use my uh, bonus action to take a swipe, an unarmed swipe at one of her back legs. Oh, Ooh, critical fumble. <laughs> yeah. Back in the pit with you. Uh, D100, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, she just kicks me back in. 35. You attack your opponent, but you begin to fear that they have a superior amount. Disadvantage on your next attack roll against the Broodmother. Don't think that's going to come around. But that's Brit. Furby. Right. That one here, taking a swing on the shillelagh. Bludging, 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 bludging. 11 to hit. That is a miss. And Furby is done. You clonk your stick off of her leg. Like hitting a tree trunk. Gonna take your leg. Doran. Yeah, dad. All right. I'm going to just hit her. Let's get it over with. That is a hit. Do you wish to kill the broodmother? Oh, yes. This is the end of the movie. How do you do it? How do you kill her? I, I pull my sword out and hold it high over my head, and I swing it down into her face. The spider's face is cleft in two, her mandibles twitching ineffectively as they separate from each other. And after a moment, she enters into her death throes, and one of her back legs kicks out and hits Brit, and she falls in the pit again. Hmm. But she's fine, so she climbs back out. <laughs> you have successfully resolved combat and oh, killed man. the brute mother. Whew, Furby takes a sit. There's a hard sit. Yeah, I, I, I drop to my knees. Here. You can hear. I want I want the, the boars. The boars. Oh God. Oh no. God. Screams of the boars. 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 <laughs> boars. Oh God. <laughs> oh by no. The time, by the time you make it over there, the fire is a raging inferno. Well, it looks like we live here now. Ooh. Oh, oh, <laughs> two of them are. Are we collecting boar meat on the way out? Two of them are charred corpses. Hell Bacon. yeah. Pork roast, baby. Uh, mm, carnitas. You can see that after after maybe 10 or 15 minutes, the fire should extinguish itself. There doesn't seem to be much more flammable stuff except the webs. And the smoke seems to be. Uh, uh, fissuring out of where you came from and not pooling in the back chambers. I do want to help the one on its way and say I'm sorry I couldn't save all your friends. Oh, no, there are only two left. The other one's gone. Oh, the one I fed or... <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> uh, but we'll they're, they're, are they, like are they free, though? Or are they, I can you just let them... Like, the know? webbing is burned and they are now charred. Um, I try to medicine their wounds as much as I can, but then send they them in the dead. room. Oh, they you're right. Dead. You said the other one left. Okay. Turned up. I thought for some reason you switched over to two living. Okay, cool. No, right. no, no. Uh, <laughs> I say a little, uh, you know, a little, just a little meditative thought and say, I'm so, uh, you know, say, say shillelagh. shillelagh. <laughs> I revoke my shillelagh and then I come back. All right. What do you wish to do? Uh, uh, search the room. Scour oh. the room and did, the pit. Did Britt have a weapon that she picked up? Uh, friends, I, well, I apologize for my behavior. I sort of lost it there. But I have <laughs> to tell you, I found this sword on a corpse down there. I, I don't I, really know what I saw. Can I, can I see the, can I see the sword? Yep. The ska the sword is of exquisite make with mm. uh, blue uh, blue uh, detail work on the scabbard and very fine high polished brass for the hilt and pommel. Uh, the scabbard is engraved with the initials E Y. Yeah, this is what I thought. And this came off of a corpse, Brit. I think it was dead. I I'd have to go back down there to be absolutely sure, but. Uh, I want, I want to no go down and see if the, if there's yeah. any how Let's long it's been dead. <laughs> you go down into the pit, and once again, you can see the bones of many animals and the uh, half-eaten corpses of of woodland creatures that seem to be where the spider fed. This is her feeding pit. Mm -hmm. Can we light and a light? 
the oh the torch is still down there where it dropped oh, okay. <laughs> sweet, 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 sweet. oh no this place is on fire too no you're no. fine <laughs> Uh, What's the state of the corpse of the Elizabeth person or whatever? Yeah, you see, the corpse has been long dead. Uh, uh, long definitely, dead. Definitely devoured. It's you know how spiders eat their insides of their uh, prey. Nope. Definitely they, withered up, shriveled they up, laid devoured eggs inside, in there and they um, ate their way out as they were born. As you are examining the pit of area, you do see that the spider had a small treasure hoard. The spider had. Who's getting ready to take this down? Sam, I'm ready. <laughs> two, uh, 200 gold two okay. potions of healing okay. and since Sam is taking this down Sam yeah. gets to roll Sam let's see let me bring up my chart uh, where is my chart where is my chart everybody gets uh, 50 gold by the yeah. way so, everybody should be at 100, though. Or more. Uh, is it in Xanthar's? It should be in Xanthar's. Xanathar. And then does that... Who has a potion? Does anybody have any healing potions? I used the one I had. I give one to, to Doran, and I give Brit one to Brit. one at this point. Because I healed Brit. Brit. Brit, do you have a healing potion? I do not. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I'll now roll a d100. Uh, Seventy-three. Seventy-three. Uh, it's probably gonna be a roll again. Roll again, just in case. One, two, Oops, three, okay. four, five, six. Rolling again, just in case, for a ninety. Roll again. <laughs> Rolling again. Third time's okay. charm. Twelve. Roll again. Yeah, it's gonna be twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You find. You find. A pair of strange-looking goggles. That look like they are very well crafted. It looks like one of the creatures in this pit was a horse, and it had mm -hmm. a decrepit old saddlebag on it. And in this saddlebag, you found these goggles. Goggles of all seeing. Uh, yeah, you find some very excellent looking goggles. Excellent. Um, is there like cloth and stuff? I want to, I want to, I want to okay. gather her remains and, and bring her back so she can have a proper burial. Uh, yeah, she's still wearing, uh, the armor that she was wearing, which just looks like basic leather and the clothing is not deteriorated that much. It's been, you know, ripped and shredded a little bit since it was mm -hmm. been manhandled by a spider, but, uh, there's definitely a cloak. It has a cloak. You can wrap it in her cloak. And it's the, yeah, it was yeah. the only human. There's the only that's the only humanoid down there, huh? Yes. Okay. I, uh, I'll, um, help, I'll help Doran get the body out. I mean, I could conse consecrate this easily. Consecrate this death pit for one human. If you guys want to just leave it, and we'll we bring do the have sword to go back talk for to the husband. Bag. I mean, yeah. But we have the, we have the sword as proof. We just say that the yeah, whole but, the whole yeah. remains were devoured. I <laughs> imagine he would appreciate having her remains back. If it were me, I'd want to see for the closure. Yeah, this isn't how a fighter goes. Um, can I put on the goggles? Yes, you can. Mm. Plop, plop. You realize that? Why? Where? where come on, roll twenty. Roll twenty is freezing up on me. Why is roll twenty frozen up me? There we go. Just took a while. Um, you realize that while wearing them, you can see much better than you could before. Uh, but only. Only so, like, so, 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 uh -huh. so, so, you put on the goggles, and at first everything is blurry, super, super blurry. But then you like hold your hands up over your face, and you can see that you can see way better detail of your hands, more detail than you ever thought possible when they're right in front of your face when you're examining them. Uh, so 
this doesn't require any kind of attunement or anything. So these are eyes of minute seeing. Mm. While wearing them, you can see much better than normal out to a range of one foot. You have advantage on intelligence investigation checks that rely on sight while searching an area or studying an object within that range of one foot. I mean, I'm the most sightly challenged here. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, does Olna describe this to us? Do I know that that's what she's seeing? Um, no. Olna's wearing them. <laughs> You just, you just look good in them glasses, all right. Does it obscure my vision otherwise, Steve? Yes. I uh, take them off. I let them know it's the eyes of my neat scene. What is that? Uh, what the DM just said. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I've been, you you have a, I, you, okay. if you wear them, you have advantage on intelligence checks uh, up to a foot, so you to can find like like a Sherlock Holmes type shit. Should we use them in the pit? I don't think so, personally, but you can. Here, I throw him to Do Doran. I'm just trying to get this corpse out of here with Doran. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I got a corpse in my hand. Dog. I say, let me, I, let me perform a rite of, of, of death. They, they, they died here, at, like anywhere from two weeks ago. So let me just perform a rite of proper death to make sure the soul gets to where it needs to go, and then we can. How long does that take? We can let the husband. It won't take. It won't take me too long. I'll take a quick rest. We, yeah, I'll, I'll, can we do a short rest, Steve? Uh, if you want to spend an hour in here, yeah. I'll spend an hour consecrating the burial pit for Elizabeth Yeoman, and the we're husband can do with the. Here. What? We're not burying her here. No, we're not burying her here, we're but creating the place of death. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The husband can do with 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 the. In, you know, the what, what he wants. And the sword. So Olna does a funeral rite. Uh, you get the body out, you wrap it up, prepare to transport it, uh, and you take a short rest. You can burn hit dice if you so wish. 1d8 plus 2. While you are... Who's got the sword? Brit. Brit does. Uh, Brit, while you are... Perfect. Taking a short rest, you can be examining that sword, and you can realize that it is, in fact, a magic sword. Hmm. It is simply a plus one magic longsword. Plus one to attack and damage rolls. Plus one magic longsword. That doesn't belong to you, might I add. I know. We have the to give it back to the down husband. From the father of the dead deceased. Dead deceased. Right. Uh, cool. Uh, if you're all burning hit dice, do so. Do you want to do anything else while um, in this cave? I need to burn my. I would. Uh, I'm. I'm doing. I'm. I'm doing some prayer stuff. So. <laughs> nice door. <laughs> oh wow. Look, get the bad rolls out now. You, know you what can I mean? burn one more if you want. You got two. I used two. Oh, oof! I didn't see the first one. Oh god. <laughs> Um, what about so, those mushrooms? Can you make something with those mushrooms? Uh, I think I couldn't make the potion in the same time that I'm doing a short rest because I have to not be doing stuff like that. Yeah, it takes some concentration and focus. Roger. Yeah, you wouldn't your mental have to be calm while you're doing that? Um, but uh, you know, I got my wild shape back. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, um, that my hidden steps. Can I just get a reminder? So if I'm burning hit dice during a short rest. You should be able to roll the actual hit dice. Like, you can see Kaz rolled the actual hit dice roll that calculates everything for you. But you roll your hit dice, and you add your con. There you go. Oh, OK. So that does add the two. OK, yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. So OK. Perfect. Which is funny, because it's a duplicate of the roll you just made. It is. <laughs> Hacks. <laughs> uh, cool. So yeah, all that happens, and you burn some hit dice. And what do you want to do now? I'm going to try to get this body out of here with uh, Doran. Yeah, you did all that. Yeah, we oh. did that. Okay. Rest. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rest. Uh, but we the... did that while, while, while well, let's go, was let's, let's go turn this quest in and, and get this body buried. Can I search this room really quick before we leave? There is nothing of note in the room, just the spider webs on the wall. Great, let's get the frick out of here. <laughs> 
So you exit the Broodmother's lair after slaying her. Mm, the BM lair. Lighting her lair on fire. Mm-hmm. And I take it you head back to town? Yes. You head back Hell to town. Yeah. You get I'm going to give... And uh... Asmodeus himself appears and kills you all. We got two quests <laughs> done. We got, we got rocks. Yeah, we I'm gonna got, give I'm gonna give the rocks to. Uh, we gotta bury this body, or we gotta ask this guy where he wants the body buried. I guess I'm. A yeah, yeah, I'm gonna give I'm gonna we give the five first. quarts to Brit so she can take them to the, the the dude, and get our get our cash for that. And then me and uh, the rest of the crew are gonna go to old fucking Timbo and All tell right. his wife is dead. So Brit returns back to Vax's smithy and uh gives him the ore and so do you want he asks you do you want a monetary reward or do you want a discount in his shop um you know i think we'd like to take a monetary reward at this point and he gives you 50 gold we can come back to you with more and the same offer still stands uh, the offer does not still stand because he just needed this to get started. I mean, if he uses this up in the future, maybe he'll ask again. But for now, nope, this is all he needs. All right. Uh, I appreciate it. And uh, we'll be on the lookout for you for the future. And I pocket the gold and I walk away feeling unfulfilled. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool. In the meantime, the rest of you go to Gerald Yeoman's place. And mm -hmm. yes, Gerald Yeoman is uh, beside himself with grief. He didn't want to believe it, but deep down somewhere he knew that this might be a possibility. And he mourns the loss of his wife, and he thanks you for finding the body. And as a reward for doing everything for him, he says, please accept the sword as your own. She would want you to have it. She would want it to be put to use fighting against the evils of this land. If you ever see any uh, giant spiders from here on out, <laughs> give them no quarter. All right. Sorry for your loss, Gerald. Yes. Thank you for your generosity in your time. Persona can, bless you. If he can ever do anything for you, he's a simple, simple, what did I say he did? Potter. Potter, he's a simple potter, but anything he can do, he will. All right, Harry. Well, can can I have a pot with that you with a cork, a corkable pot? Small. He can give you a small joke. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it like does it got like cool design on it or something or uh no it, it doesn't have okay. any painting or anything on it he just makes it it's got a glaze finish nice okay it's a simple hey. red clay gerald's pot acquired holds about holds about a pint pint to look good so yeah what do you wish to do now um I'm going. I would like to go to the church. Uh, is it what's? Is there a hill, a tall place on this? Uh, not so much. No. Okay. It's a pretty flat island. There's not any very large features. Kind of look into it. Well, we should definitely go back to the the board, which had. Well, there's definitely some stuff on there. If someone wants by to go, now, by, help now, it's it's time. It's by now it's um, probably kind of late afternoon. Oh. FYI. Okay. Well, we have a comet that was that we've heard about. So I was gonna go to the mm. church and ask about that. And Sazo's comet. Awesome. Yeah. We can. Ooh, we can ask at the observatory, isn't there an observatory? And if someone wants to go help Paige Bylaw find her lost cat, I uh, I forgot about mm. that quest. <laughs> so late afternoon, you have enough time to do maybe one thing. So. Um... What's your face? Olna is going to the church, you just said? Yes. Olna's going okay. to church. Dorn, what do you want to do? You said there's an observatory for real? There's no observatory. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the research. Yeah, there is the research facility, I guess. I'd be interested so in that's marine research. That's not, it sounds that's unnatural. Us with an orbital. Um, yeah, what is our knowledge of uh, space uh, entities that fly by? Um... 
I'm gonna just go to the inn and drink. Uh, Britt, what are you doing? Britt kicks a can down the road, and uh, oh, kick the can! Hell yeah, good game. She does. She's got her hands in her pockets. <laughs> Jesus, she's Britt! Up. Britt, come with me. Come with me to the church, okay? We'll seek. <laughs> we'll do some prayings. Find some redemption for yourself, your wayward soul. Olna, I think you're. I think you're right. I might have some things to tell you. So melancholy. And she follows Olna. Furby, what are you Come doing? Come here, child. Uh, if they're going <laughs> together, I would I would just hang out with uh, my friend Doran. All right, go to the inn. Um, so you are going to level up to level three. Furby, oh, that means I'm not, not ready. Like you, <laughs> but uh, Olna, you. What is what is your oath that you will swear at level three? The oath of mother. Fucking, where is it? <laughs> devotion. Really? <laughs> oath so, of devotion. Olna is going to swear the oath of devotion, which is good because the church is a perfect place to do that. Um, uh, 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 Brit, what way are you going to choose? The way of the drunken master. So in that case... I feel if you're going to go in that direction, I feel like story-wise, it would be better for you mm -hmm. to see that, uh, uh, yes, Olna is trying to convince you to go seek redemption at the church, but see, hearing that Doran and Furby are going to go drinking, that kind of sounds a lot better to you right Come now. Come have a pint! Uh, so I feel like just to make this a little bit of a story point for your leveling up, uh, I feel like you should go with them. She looks at Olna and goes... I'll catch up with you. <laughs> uh, Doran, what, oh, what archetype did you choose? Oh, man. Um, because you totally looked at all this when I asked you to. I think I'm going to do Battlemaster. No, I, I, I have been. It's just, it's, 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 it's going to get lot. weird, man. <laughs> it's a lot to think about. Yeah. Uh, but Battlemaster, you said? Yes. Oh, wow. I had you pegged for a samurai. Not going to lie. Battlemaster is awesome, though. You know, you're, yeah, Sa Samurai, Samurai was cool, but, like, I, I don't know. Um, Battlemaster. All right, all right. BM. Uh, where is that? Beyond Battlemaster. Wait, there's no Samurai in here. <laughs> it's in Xanathar's Guide to Everything, as I listed on your list. Uh, well, you think about that, because I'm going to deal with uh, Ulna first. <laughs> so, Ulna, you are going to the Church of Pelor mm -hmm. in Covenant. Covenant. The Church of Pelor. Where the hell is my Church of Pelor? Church of Pelor. Uh, sorry. No. No, 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 no. no. Wait. Sorry. So in town, there is a <laughs> church. There is a church of Pelor, but there is also a shrine to Persana. Uh, which one of those would you go to? Did you? Uh, be on the way to the church, I would stop at the shrine and and uh, offer a, a prayer to a solemn prayer to myself and to Persona. Excellent. Um, so for your oath of devotion, the question is: To whom do you swear this oath? <laughs> Uh, taking vows that commit paladin cause of righteousness, blah, 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 blah. Culmination of all the paladin strange. Loftiest ideals of justice, virtue, and order, sometimes called blah, blah, blah. Hold yourself to the highest standards of conduct. Some, for better or worse, hold the rest of the world to the same standards. Many ways, so devoted to gods of law and good, use their gods' tenets as a measure of their devotion. They hold angels, blah, 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 blah. So, you don't have to specifically swear an oath to, you know, your god. It's just an oath that you swear um, mainly for yourself. The, the, it's the strength of your will that gives your sacred oath its power and allows you to cast the divine magic. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not specifically tied to a deity. So just so you know, you don't have to tie it to the deity. But if you want to, there is a church, a pillar, and a shrine of persona. So you could swear the oath so that they hear it um, uh, and possibly do something for you later on down the road. Well, I have been spewing out Persona's name at left and right, so I will, I will, sh I will um, offer my devotion to Persona. All right. So at the shrine to Persona, the shrine to Persona. Where is it? 
Where is it? Shrine to Persona, a shrine to the Triton God. It is a sculpture of standing stones, which is frequented regularly by the Tritons of Covenant, but occasionally it's also visited by sailors and fishermen to pray for calm waters. Uh, so you go to the shrine in Persona, and you like what do you what do you say? What kind of stuff are you are you praying about? Uh, that I will uphold the ideals of persona and I will I will not lie or cheat. I will always act with courage and compassion and I will treat others with fairness and I will be responsible for all of my actions and consequences that on my journeys. So hearing this prayer, you can see as you are making this prayer, you can see the sculpture of stones. Uh, it seems like you notice some inscriptions on the stone that you didn't really notice before. But after you utter your prayer, you can kind of see an engraving, an inscription that looks like waves of the ocean that have been scrawled out on this stone. And as you watch the stone, you can see that these waves begin to move. Strangely enough, oh. these inscriptions of these waves begin to move before your eyes upon the stone. And as the waves move, you can see that little engravings of fish and sea creatures begin to jump and swirl around in the waves. And as you continue watching, you see that the inscription uh, takes on the form of a figure that is being swirled around by the waves of the water. And all the fish and the creatures of the ocean seem to, I mean, they don't have waists, but they seem to dip their heads reverently in front of this figure. And as you see this figure standing before all the creatures of the deep, you can see that the inscription, the engravings transform into something that looks like a face and Whoa. you can see that this face is very noble and it speaks directly to you and it says olna wavner your prayers do not go on deaf ears if you truly wish to continue this path of righteousness you must swear an oath you must devote yourself entirely to these ideals which you have spoken Devote yourself entirely to an unbending will to pursue justice and hold yourself to the highest standards. Do this and you shall have my blessing with you. For I am Persana, master wow. of the waves, guardian of the depths. Do you Al accept this oath? Almost crying. I do, Persona. Then go now and feel my blessing upon you as you strike down those who would cause injustice in this world. Strike down that which is unnatural. Protect the innocent and forever hold yourself to the standard of honesty and goodness. So be it, good persona. So be it, and it shall be done. You and close your good. eyes. And you close your eyes and you bow your head once more. And as you look up, all the engravings are gone. It's the same rock as it was before. Holy. No more you, cursing. You are now level three with your Oath of Devotion spells and Channel Divinity and new spells. Whatever whatever spells you get. Yeah. Coming through. So you got more spells. You got your Oath spells, which don't count against your total. And Channel Divinity, which is fun. Channel of any is a good stuff. Nice. Uh, excellent. 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 Uh, Doran and. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to do fucking samurai. Cause God, that's a lot simpler. <laughs> that's a lot simpler than fucking <laughs> battle master, dude. Battle uh, fucking. Holy shit. Yeah. This is, this is, this is a lot. I mean, yeah. It's like the best of battle master without fucking actually learning martial arts. Life. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Doran, Furby, and 
Brit, go to the uh, go to the floating otter inn. And the floating otter inn. It's uh, towards the end of the day, so it's kind of bustling. There's a uh, there's a lot of people in here. It's the end of the work day. They're relaxing. They're 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 carrying on. Um, and you all three start drinking a little bit, and you're having a good time. You're laughing, and uh, a couple of the people recognize you as the winners of the challenge course that happened the other day as part of the festival. And so people are buying you drinks. You don't have to pay for your own drinks. People are buying you drinks. They're like, "Wow, cool! Wow, geez!" And some of them start asking you, "How did? How did you? How did you do that? How? Whoa! I saw you like running. I saw you like swimming, throwing. And whoa, whoa, geez!" And they're noticing your gear and your armor, and they kind of start asking you for some demonstrations uh, because they're just common folk. They don't see your type too often, and so they they, they kind of ask for some of your demonstrations. Uh, so. So what 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 kind of Doran? What kind of what kind of demonstrations would you do? Feats of martial prowess. Um, I I throw a pint into the air and slice it with my sword. Throw a pint in the air and slice it with your sword. And even though the bartender yells out from behind the bar, "Who's gonna pay for that?" Everybody's laughing uproariously and cheering. And uh 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 uh. You slash the mug to three separate pieces, and the liquid within splashes to the floor. And two things happen. An old lady slips. <laughs> uh, two things happen. One... One, you see the pieces of the mug hit the floor, but two, the liquid disappears before it touches the floor. You feel a slight gust of wind as this happens, but you don't see the liquid hit the floor anywhere. Mm -hmm. Britt, what kind of demonstration would you do? to impress these people. Oh, I place a mug full of beer on the top of my head and I do a spinning kick without dropping a single bit of beer. You execute this maneuver to the joy of the crowd before you and uh, everybody's clapping and carrying on and... and then I take the beer off my head and hand it to the most attractive man near me. <laughs> How attractive is the most attractive man <laughs> near you? Roll on a one. scale of one to ten. Roll I'm gonna one. roll. I'm gonna roll his his charisma stat right now, which is uh three d six. Oof. Uh, uh, average. The only guy here is very average. Ten charisma score. Very, very average. So nothing, nothing, you know, totally ugly, but nothing. All right. So no nothing amazing. he doesn't have a full beard, but he's got some facial hair. <laughs> uh, and so he, he takes the mug and says, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And he downs it. Um, and as you both are showing off uh, for the crowd, uh, a figure walks from the back of the room, which was in the corner, a figure who speaks softly, but you can tell that this figure's voice carries a great power. And the figure says, I would have expected as much from a dwarf, but Doran, I thought I taught you better than this. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I've been drinking, man. <laughs> Doran turns to the source of voice and sees none other than the Southern Hermit. I I I sheathe my sword in embarrassment and and, <laughs> and uh, stammer as I am now. <laughs> what do you mean you would have expected this much from a dwarf? <laughs> 
<laughs> I think that's rather racist fun. ass hermit. <laughs> because... <Pretty much. laughs> no, he takes it in a good direction. He says because dwarves are very proud and they are masters of their chosen craft. That's why I would expect as much from a dwarf to show the people without hesitation what skills the dwarven people can do. Ah, she's charmed immediately. But oh, Durin, yeah. <laughs> I taught you humility and elegance in your fighting. Have you forgotten what I have taught you? I'm still stammering. <laughs> you both have potential. That much is certain. But you lack discipline and control. Come with me. And he also gives a slight burp as he is oh. walking out the door. I give a I give a very quiet but 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 noticeable sigh as I follow. <laughs> oh, you're grounded. He takes you. Uh, where is the floating otter in? Floating otter in is number three over there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's a, there's just a little bit of a, a grassy knoll behind the floating otter in, and he takes you both back there. And uh, as he takes you both back there, he says, yes, you both have potential, but you must unlock this potential. We begin training immediately. And he begins okay. to train you both. He pits you not against himself, but he pits you against each other. And he begins Ooh. coaching you in the different styles that he sees you have potential in. Uh, Doran, he forces you to treat the weapon as an extension of your own body, whereas uh, Rit, he teaches you the graceful dance that comes in the guise of the drunken master, showing you how to fool your opponents into thinking you are vulnerable when in fact you are strong. This deception being one of the key fighting, signature key fighting styles of monks that he has known in his time. And so skillful is his teaching, so masterful are his ways that you can feel yourself picking up on both of these fighting styles in a very short period of time. In fact, after a few hours, the sun has gone down, and even though it's difficult to see each other, you are still engaged in a volley of combat, back and forth, to and fro, neither of you landing a, a palpable strike, but neither of you giving ground. So engaged are you in this battle that you don't notice that the Southern Hermit has disappeared. But as you finally end this, this duel in a draw, you realize the Southern Hermit has opened your mind to new horizons. Doran now uh, follows the way of the samurai, and mm -hmm. Britt follows the way of the drunken master. Level three. Level three. So yeah. Drunken Master gets some, 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 some proficiencies. I do indeed. Yeah, yeah. Bonus proficiency in performance and brewer supplies, if you didn't already have it. I did not. Yeah. And yeah, you learn to twist and turn your body as part of your flurry of blows. That gives you some cool stuff. Allows you to weave and bob and dodge your way through the battlefield. Uh, the way of the samurai. Also get some bonus proficiencies. Okay. Because you are now a disciplined student of fighting. You realize that fighting and, and, and your skills go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. So you choose one of those proficiencies. And you also learn a language. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. The flow no, wait, of battle has a... opened your mind, and you sense power that has radiated from the Southern Hermit's knowledge has passed to you. This thing says, alter oh, it says alternatively you learn a language of your choice. Okay. Oh, so yeah, you pick one. Either a skill proficiency or a language. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to take a skill proficiency. I, I know oh, enough languages. So never mind that language. And also... Yeah. 
Um, you can have some fancy proficiency fancy fighting choice. styles that will help you stay in the battle for longer. Ooh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Get some temp hit points action going on there. It's awesome. And Furby. Hello. Oh, Furby. As the Southern Hermit takes the two students out back. Uh, where do you want to go? You can do uh, anything you want. Well, if it wasn't, I guess I wouldn't have partaken in the, uh, the pleasing the crowd with stuff unless unless I was approached. If you wanted to, I mean, they're asking all three of you. Um, I was well. So before you guys all went off and everything, I was thinking because uh, one of the things that furbolgs like to actually do is sometimes entertain uh, the normal races with their little furbolg magic thing, and um, if it, it just just to kind of get like one over on them. And I, I would have said I would have gone up to one of the um, whoever I see is like the most enthusiastic in like the crowd. And uh, done uh, my furball disguise self that I can just do as a cantrip, um, <laughs> and just kind of make uh, myself look exactly like them as much as I can to the disguise self, you know. Yeah, spell. there is so 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 the floating outer in is run by a family of halflings. You can see, mm -hmm. and the most enthusiastic out of all of them is the the son who has introduced himself as Dondo. And he is super, super enthusiastic. And if you do magic in front of him, it flipping blows his mind out the side of his skull. So uh, uh, I would uh, go nuts, uh, shrieking uh, like a kid. So I, 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 I look at him and I'm like, hey, you want to see a trick? And then I, I disguise self into look exactly like him, like a mirror. <laughs> can you? He's, he's like, he's a small creature. I can go three feet smaller than I am. I think I'm six foot. I don't know what he is. Uh, you, he's he's like three feet high. You apparently on your character sheet say so you're eight feet tall. That might be an exaggeration. Uh, no, we, we're giant, Ken. I guess. What did I write in there? Oh, I didn't write it on my other sheet. Um, well, I can do what I can to get close to him. <laughs> you look like a big version of him. A big version of him, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's going crazy. Uh, oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen! Wow, that magic is even cooler. That's even cooler than. And this is this wait, is how we wait, slip in and out of your for, society. Wait for it. So I feel like if this if this kid would try to the whole disguise self, if they swipe anywhere where like their magic isn't, like if I made myself bigger or smaller, then they either feel like where I actually am, or they go through air, like through the illusion. Yeah, he says, "Wow, that's that's so cool. That's even better than Miss Dende down at the research station. Oh man, I've been trying to get her to teach me, but she won't. Will you teach me something, Mister? Oh man, can you teach me how to like, like, can you teach me how to, like, whoosh, and can you like, football? yes? You must concentrate every night and treat nature with <laughs> kindness. Maybe one day you too can learn the furbogs magic." Uh, for, uh, for, 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 for me saying this with full knowledge that this kid's never going to learn it, but I want to give him like something to go towards like tr make sure you treat nature and you eat your vegetables but, but wait but wait how do you, how do, you do that what how, how, how do you put like what do i think of what do i concentrate on how do i what? he's asking for an explanation yeah think 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 of your connection with the natural lands focus on as that it took me 15 years him, to learn this as you give him your bare bones explanation you kind of like think since you're explaining it so simply you think of oh wait that's actually a good idea i should try that yep, and that's yep, how you yep. think of your other spells I would like to, well, I would like to, I mean, also, I mean, really all I get is commune with nature. So I would, uh, if I can spend any of this time at all uh, off of my own and like kind of make a, you know, make with my herbalism kit, the, the potion, as well as just kind of focus on yes. nature and spells. You can do that. Cool. You can make a potion. How do I write this? Um... Uh, write it under your features and traits. First page, bottom right. Oh, yeah, this lock of trickery. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. So unless you all, unless anybody's gonna do any nightlife, the night will pass, and you can take a long rest and get yourself up to fully level three. Oof. Are we gonna do that with the uh? That thing that you said that the uh, so yeah the the does it, there, or doesn't it doesn't really do much huh yeah the built-in way to actually just do the automatic leveling up stuff um, is when you go into your settings for your character uh, you know core bio spells gear you click the gear icon in the bottom right it says launch level plus character mancer that will launch a thing that um, I'm gonna do it do it 
you will probably be able to do it, Sam, because you took the basic OCD yeah. program, which is in the PHP. For the other exotic stuff, you have to pay for the subscription, so it might not do that stuff with the rest of you, but it would do your HP and stuff. Um, but your HP is pretty simple. Uh, once again, we're taking the average. Uh, so yeah, HP, remember, is the average of your hit dice uh, rounded up plus your con. Yep. Average of your... So for Doran, you have no con. Your hit dice is a 10. So you get six more hit points up to your max, uh, above your max. Yeah, I, I just added everything on my own because all my stuff's handwritten. Yeah. Brit, your extra HP is a D8. So five plus con. Yeah, it's telling you right there. And your monastic tradition, yeah, it doesn't give you the monastic tradition, so don't don't actually choose one of the monastic traditions. Just push next so it gives you the proper HP. Also, Brit, because you're a hill dwarf, you get another HP because you're a hill dwarf. So, right, um, it should do that automatically. When I if I do the um, sorry, if I go to the gear. After core, bio, and spells, if I go to the gear and level up using the level plus character mancer, you're there right now. I can see. I can see your Boom. Screen. Yeah, but I just canceled out of it. Let me try again. All right. So I added that thing to my thing. So your, so your HP total right now is 19. So you should get. Five, six, seven, eight. It should be eight more. Oh, okay, here we go. So you should have 27 HP after this. Dang, built like a tank. Yeah. Um, that's what I see here. Okay, 27. Cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, then you'll have to add your own Drunken Master stuff on your own because we don't have the subscription. Right. I wish you could use bold font insert in the um whatever. Okay. No, I don't know. I don't know how. Control B. <laughs> yeah, but oh, I don't know. Furby. Yeah, it doesn't work. Furby's at twenty five HP. Cool, twenty four actually. Sorry, I I four HP. I rolled it and then I didn't. And then you said take the average, so I did the average. Yeah, average. <laughs> took away one in my other game with matt wilson uh we just leveled up to level three as well and everybody else uh so matt matt does it a little bit differently he has his own thing but everybody else rolled like near maximum mm. for their role and i got just less than half so <laughs> <laughs> i was like oh no, no i'm a paladin i have the lowest hp of the party <laughs> but i did take one low i'm a multi-class paladin a multi-class paladin sorcerer so that's where I took the HP. Damn. Fancy pants. Uh, cool. Oh, uh, is everybody good? Everybody good up? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like I'm done. Awesome. Uh, feel free to add more of your stuff. Oh, wait. I got to add my proficiency. Add your proficiencies. Wait, so is it, it's just one point, right? For the proficiency? Uh, so for the proficiencies, it is one proficiency out of the list that it gave you. And the way uh -huh. you do that is bottom left under proficiency you add new proficiency new skill add new skill and then select the one that you pick samurai oh, so it's, uh, to gain a proficiency on one of the following skills of your choice history insight performance or persuasion Uh, let's do performance. You are already proficient in performance. Oh. oh. True. Performance. Perception. I uh, should probably do persuasion or history. I'll do his. So I'll do persuasion. Persuasion, he says. So mark that. 
and I'll check it off for you. Persuasion. Mm -hmm. uh, do I get my full speed back because it's now the third day? It will happen after today. After today. <laughs> okay, yeah. Gotcha. But I mean, uh, so we're pretty much at the tail end of the session, but we can kind of hand wave and say, what what is your next immediate goal to do? Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. The <laughs> I forgot to tell you um, when you went to Gerald's place and had the interaction with him, Gerald's Gerald place. would tell you. Gerald would tell you. Uh, because you tell Gerald the story and say that there is a spider layer out there, Gerald mm, yeah. suggests that if there is giant spiders, that ain't right. If, you, if there are giant spiders out there, you should tell uh, the guard captain about that. Uh, because that's that's if there's a giant spider layer on the island, that's something that yeah. is uh, not good. Oh, and the guard captain too. would have something to say about that. Well, it's taken care of. But yes, no, you're right. Oh, the that comet and all that stuff. I know, I know. But you do have all the points of interest. Uh, you can go anywhere that you want. So, I think um, also, um, comet sounds unnatural. I would, I would be more concerned with that. Can Let's I get take a airship? Can I take that long story? From his his dead wife, the dad's heirloom. Yeah, it was it was a reward. Yeah, can I take that one and just replace that one with with, with yeah, that was with my old long sword? Makes the most sense for Doran. Uh, I don't want it. Doran, 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 and Olna are the only two that are proficient with long swords. I'm good. I got my trident. So Doran, let's see if we can do this. If you are using that, you should add a new attack. Actually, let me see if I can just do it for you. Yeah. Adding a new attack here, which is magic long sword. Magic longsword, which is going to be a strength attack. We'll make it like the we'll make it like the family Kamehameha, right? When I use it, she is also there. Her spirit helps me <laughs> to cut to cut into my enemy. Strength attack plus one, press proficiency. Because Damage is carried her out of there. A one d eight, one handed plus strength plus one for the magic. Type is slashing. Crit is 1d8. So there's Magic Longsword, one hand. What's your what's your new D, what's your level three thing, Furby? Nothing. I got two <laughs> level two spells. Huh. Yeah. Magic Longsword, two hand. Is the same plus one press proficient d8 crit yes yes uh nope d10 for mm -hmm. two-handed so that should be that how global damage modifier for the two-handed you don't add so yeah for the two-handed just you have to remember not to check off your global damage dueling thing Okay. But yeah, there's your I will, I will try to remember that. Wait a minute. Did I just did I just mess that up? Did I just put one? Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I only see one. Whoops. Uh. I'm dumb. Uh, magic longsword. Okay, I'll just keep that. That's two handed. And then add. I'm gonna put magic longsword one. One. Oh shoot! It has the magic bonus right there. That's fun. So I do that. Huh? You have to. Sh you have to shout like Elizabeth's name, or or say Yeoman. 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 <laughs> Yeoman. Yeoman. Every time you strike with it. Or just for, or just get the grave engraving changed. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Shout for Lizzie. Because <laughs> your strength three. I'll, I'll go. I'll go full Zoro and carry three swords. 
<laughs> you need a tail. This now. I'm going to disable that. Actually, I guess you don't need to disable the dueling because you just don't take it. Yeah, just minus two. So magic longsword. So let's see. That is a 26 because it's... Tw oh, a crit. Well, I rolled a crit plus... Wait a minute. I just did that. So I rolled a 10 because it's a 4 plus strength plus proficiency plus 1 magic. Yes. So that's accurate dueling style. The thing is I rolled a 3 plus your strength is 3 plus the 1 magic. So that works. Uh, magic longsword. One-handed. Dueling style. Yes. Okay, minus the 2. Oh, I don't think. What did I do? What did I do? Didn't put in the damage. 1d8. Slashing. Slashing? There it is. That looks better. Slashing. slashing. Cool. So there's that. All right. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You take the long sword and. Um, Yes. Yeah. So, no. I guess I mean the the only thing I'm trying to get at is, are you going to are you going to set out on a new thing, or are you going to just spend some time in town for a day or two? Let's let's uh let's take some time and rest and 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 get um, healed up. Yeah, <laughs> I will. Yeah, I will. Brit, I, will, got wounds. I, will mm. I will tell Brit the stories of the 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 hermit and his crazy <laughs> trainings because he'll probably be back. Yeah, freaking anime. We got a freaking yeah. drunken master and a samurai. In our team. That's so funny. <laughs> All right, uh, that's gonna be it for today's game. We are four hours in. Good, good session. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about next time. When do we want next time to be? Once again, I'm all for a weekly thing. But if we want to keep on bi-weekly, uh, next would be the first of the month. No, sorry. Next week is the first of the month. Two weeks after that would be. The 8th. August, August eighth. So, what do y'all say? Uh, I'm free on weekend. August first. I can be free on the first. I as well. Ooh. I'm we looking. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm forgetting something, but I guess I can be as well. Uh, we'll pencil it in. We'll pencil it in for next week. But Curly, yeah. if something comes up, let us know. And we I can, will uh, let you know as soon as possible. I will do the same. I, I see nothing on the calendar though, so. Like, cool. Penciling in another game next week. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Congratulations, everybody. Level three is a lot of fun. That was great fights. Good job against the spiders. <laughs> Thank you so much, Britt, for setting everything on fire. That was hilarious. I have some demons. <laughs> I should have given I'm you some inspiration sad. for that. Inspiration is harder this in this in this type of game because I like giving the dice to somebody. But yeah. Yeah, what you do do? It? you could do it. I felt like mm -hmm. I, I was very in character. I should That's have a good job. <laughs> good job, Kaz, for actually using your trinket of uh, the Star of Covenant. <laughs> Woo! Thank you. you. Thank you, Sam, for reminding me. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop everybody recording here. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Uh, once again, I'm Steve. That's Curly. That's Carissa. That's Kaz. That's Sam. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>